Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the stream. It's been a minute since we've done this together. Um, ah, wow, it's been about a month. Um, a lot has happened in a month. What's going on, everybody? Do you see me? Do you hear me? Like, technical difficulties are lurking around the corner, all right? So there may be some on the stream. You know how it goes. Um, but we're going to do our best. So this is a very awesome stream. I'm very excited for this because I think this could actually be, like, a thing that we can do once a month. Um, it's a way to involve you guys, and it's a way to, you know, for all of us to learn. So here's what we're going to do, all right? Um, first off, let me, let me just hop on over. So we got Peter France up in the house. What's going on, Peter? What's up, everybody? Hey, buddy. It's good to be here. Thanks yeah, for having dude, me. Yeah, cheers, man. I feel like I'm on a talk cheers. show. <laughs> cheers. Oh, cheers. Yeah. You got our sparkling yeah. waters. I got my tea and my sparkling water. It's hot and cold, fire and ice. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we're doing it all. Coffee and sparkling water. Very well hydrated. Absolutely. Well, we got the dehydrator and the hydrator. <laughs> so, all good to go. Um, but no, I'm super excited. This is a great idea. I love speed modeling. So yeah, so here's what we're going to do. Let me, let me give you guys the lowdown. So basically, we got six rounds. All right. Me and Peter are going to go six rounds um, speed modeling. The first two rounds are going to be five minute rounds. All right. We have five minutes to do whatever you guys suggest. I have a pinned comment in the chat. Go to that link. Um, post a picture of what you want us to speed model as well as just one word of text for what that thing is. And we actually got Sotomonte, one of the moderators for the, for the Discord server. He's behind the scenes and he's going to be updating this prompt um, as we create, right? So, you know, go, go, don't go easy on us, all right? Like, lay it down. Um, <laughs> yeah, I want some weird suggestions. Like, something really out there. Absolutely, yeah. Um, I think the harder and the more ridiculous, the funnier it's going to be. So, yeah, mm -hmm. like I said, six rounds. The first two rounds are five-minute rounds. Um, the next two rounds are 10-minute rounds. And then the final two rounds are 30-minute rounds. All right? So we're yeah. going to kind of get warmed up. And then as we get into those later rounds, we're actually going to take some time. And, like, hopefully we can all learn something together. So that's not it. Two other things that makes this super cool. So, um First off, speed model with us. Do this challenge with us. Open Blender, open C4D, open Maya, 3ds Max, whatever the heck you guys use. Open it. Grab a pad of uh, paper and a pen. Draw it with us. Let's do speed drawing too. Whatever. It'd be sweet. Um, mm -hmm. And just challenge yourself with us. But if you guys aren't going to do that, then it, throw suggestions our way. All right. So this involves everybody. The link is pinned in the comments here um, in the live chat. Go there. Check it out. Um, Drop some suggestions. So Demonte is gonna pick his favorites and update each uh, each round for us live here. So quite the production. Hell yeah. Um, thank you, Chris. I see you, man. You you've actually helped me out a whole lot. Thank you for the super chat. Um, making some big moves in the future. I'm very excited. This this channel is gonna be doing oh, some yeah. big things, and um, Chris has helped me out with some cool ideas. And Saisharon, good to see you again. Good to be back, man. Thanks for hanging out. Um, Peter, size asking how you doing, man? What's going on, dude? I'm vibing. I'm chilling. I'm. Just, I've, just, I've just been having a nice time, taking life slow. Living uh, in LA here. Me and my roommate are working on a little VR game that I'm going to be posting more about in the near future. So you guys can expect to hear about that. Very exciting. Very challenging, but really fun. Um, kind of a retro shooter game. But yeah, just been chilling. Been vibing. You know, trying to stay healthy and uh, you've been happy. doing rock climbing, yeah. How you doing? What's going on? Wait, are, can you hear me? What? What? <laughs> <laughs> what now? What did you uh, say? Rock climbing. You've been rock climbing, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've been rock climbing a lot. I'm still like a beginner, definitely. But my, I got my calluses. You know, my fingers are getting a little stronger. Been going a few times a week. It's a good yeah. time. Me and Clint are gonna be uh, going rock climbing outside sometime. yes dude so maybe we'll post a vlog yes. or something we'll definitely get some outside climbs i've been going at night with my buddy jan so definitely gotta make yeah. that happen so y'all let's uh let's freaking do this we got people we got a thousand people up in here let's get to speed modeling Hell all yeah. right so as you can see um peter's in blender i'm in c4d we got five minutes on the clock uh we don't know what the prompt is we got soda monte uh the, one of the the main Discord moderator, he was basically the first, along with uh, Deeran, and he's gonna he's gonna be dropping it like it's hot for us. All right, so hopefully this first one, uh, <laughs> we'll see what we can do here. But um, Soto, 
I know you can hear me. Um, Peter, are you ready? Oh, I'm I'm ready. I got my default cube ready to go. Is that a default sphere? It's a default, default sphere, indeed. Yeah. You know? You know, balancing <laughs> it out, you know. That's balancing it out. Everyone get ready. Here we'll, right, we'll start right. in a minute. You we'll know start what? in one minute. You know what? Peter? Here. I'll match you. Oh, snap. Okay. How many polygons do you oh. have though? 16, 16 by 32. By 32. Yeah, 16 rings by oh, 32 okay. uh, sides. Um, Y'all, these super chats are coming in. <laughs> Frederico, thank you. Um, uh, greetings from Portugal. Oh. Y'all are inspiration. Good work. Happy renders. Thank you, sir. We're doing what we can, man. Um, and best sites. P Speed models P Peter's face with mustache. <laughs> I mean, hey, wait, we will. Here's the thing. You got to hit that Discord. There's a pinned link yeah. uh, in the live chat here. Um, it's in the Discord server. There's also a link in the description. And there's an ideas and a submissions. Um, oh, that's the other thing I didn't mention. As you guys do this, post your post your submissions in the submission uh, channel on the Discord, and I'm gonna look at them. We're gonna look at them between each round. So we're we're all in this together, guys. Yeah, I can't wait to see everybody's. Renders. We're gonna laugh gonna at everyone's crappy models. Okay, like, the, including our including own. Yeah, our don't, own. Don't worry, guys. It's gonna be chill. Um. So is everyone ready? You guys got your pads of paper and your pens and your mouses and tablets and all that ready to go? I'm ready to go. Let's, let's, let's go, son. Go, son. Um, Soto, do it. Oh, snap. A dive oh, helmet. Wow. Okay, let's go. A dive helmet. Okay, I mean, I'm glad I Me spawned too. the sphere. Yeah. Um, what? Where's my gizmo? Oh. All right, that's more of a tube situation. Uh. Dude. So the trick is like, it's like that beeple thing, you know, where it's like, uh, have a version to get out. You know, don't don't get stuck. Right. Not having something to to <laughs> deliver, you know, you gotta have something. So that's what I'm going mm -hmm. for here. Oh my god! Good. Uh. Wow, this yeah, is a tough shape. Really yeah. What do I? Okay, I'm what just is, gonna. Not even a freaking like it's like a plane. With. With a little warbly on it, and uh, oh, it's such a weird shape. Okay. Oh man, um, I know this I'm is choking, man. I'm I choking. I can tough. feel the eyes on oh. me. You need like, something like that. Go two by two. Not gonna help things. Okay, here's what. Okay, if I just could like bend this thing, boom. Gotta, you just gotta hurry up. Uh, two, two, three minutes. <laughs> Wait, minutes are you left. serious? We have three minutes left. All right, I'm gonna start gonna not being so precious one. with this. Uh, something like, something like that. Oh, would I dive okay, with go. this helmet? That's the... <laughs> yeah, we have to 3D print <laughs> and dive with these afterwards. Can you imagine? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, caps. Caps. Oh, get off. <laughs> 3D print and dive with these. They have to be functioning. Okay, I kind of have everything except for like. Oh wow, you're crisscross. Far along. I need the crisscross applesauce thing. No, why? What am I doing? Mm. Disc. 
little bit of a little bit of who? Bring out a little bit of who? Get a little bit of fillet on there, fillet it, fry it just right, with the right amount of fried edges. Um, y'all, we really appreciate these super chats. Thank you, thank you. Um, okay, how am I gonna do the crisscross situ <clears throat> situation? I have an idea. Going in, yeah. do like some straight up whoop, loop selection. Bam. Wham, blam, okay. And then we're just hitting these little pieces. This may not be exact, but hey, what we can. <laughs> uh, like checker, like checkers. Uh, yeah, I'm just doing the shittiest checkers you've ever seen. They're fine. It's like a Death Star situation. Uh, Oh, what the heck? What happened to my sphere? Why? Oh, um, no. Is there anything else I could do to this? Oh, that is what it is. Uh, we have 30 seconds, dude. 30 seconds. Oh, my. Jesus. Uh, okay. Uh, extrude inner. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there it is, I guess. Maybe some rivets. I don't think I have time for rivets. Oh no, I have to bevel the edges. 10 seconds. <laughs> Loop selection. Bevel. Okay, I'm done. Time. Zero. That's it. Time's up. What do you have? Stop editing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's not bad, dude. Oh, uh, boy. Damn, how the. I Come on, so fast, son. I mean, you got the same thing. Damn. You got the same situation. <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh boy. That was great. That was really, really fun. I like your checker situation. Right. I think that worked out. I like that a little bit better. Mine's kind of like a weird. Thank you. I was thinking about doing like a nice array modifier, but then I was just like, fuck it. Plane. Yeah. Duplicate it. Yeah. Duplicate it. Rotate it. Totally <laughs> works. Boolean it. Damn, we got some yeah, good submissions in the chat here. Um, let's see. Let's see. See here, let's go to the top. Oh yeah, we're getting some submissions. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Noah, good stuff. Jack the Hack, good stuff. Very nice, very nice. Everyone, yo, everyone got the shape. This is so good, like everyone got the shape of this. No one, wow, Volin, Volin TK really nailed it. This is really good here. Um, yo, this is fun already. This is great already. Uh, Arthipex, that's solid. You got like the subsurface, or not subsurface, but the uh, the smoothing on it. Really good stuff. Spuddy, yep. Amazing. Yeah, this is all good stuff, everybody. Wow, we have so many submissions. Ed L, you're right. Objitude. So many good ones. Yeah, we got some speed sketching up in here. Good stuff. Sick. Everyone did a really good job. Um, oh, Peter, I don't think I have your mic up in this. Let me add your mic really quick. Um, but it's chill. Well, bear with me, y'all. We're just going to add Peter's mic to this Discord setup. Um, yes. Camera, what up, Peter? Yeah, yeah, these are looking great right here. Then give me some test levels. Hey, yeah, hey, chilling. hey! What's up, Peter? France with another very <laughs> exciting. Cool. Yeah. So the biggest thing that I'm seeing here is everyone managed, like literally, everyone managed to capture mm -hmm. the shape and the essence of this thing, and that's the most important thing. Like, if you're down, crunched down to the wire. You want to uh, make sure that whatever you're creating uh, does the job. And all of these do the job. So this is mm. really cool to see everyone like oh, yeah. focusing on the main shapes and not getting stuck on the details. Like We have so many submissions. Everyone's doing a good job here. Yeah. 
I was I was watching a TikTok uh, last night about this guy who's like a very good drawer. And he was saying how drawing is less about making something look exactly like what you're trying to draw and more about like conveying the idea of what you're trying to draw. And so it can be pretty abstract, but as long as you have those shapes and enough like points to focus on in your brain, you can really convey any idea and it doesn't have to be like perfect or yeah, actually look like Yeah, it's about the feeling and the essence versus like, oh, it's got to be just right. You know, it's got to be just right. Um, so mm -hmm. good work, everybody. You guys nailed that first one. We did um, diver helmet, five minutes on the diver oh, helmet. Yeah. That's round one. We got five more rounds left. We're going to do another five minute round. Um, I think you guys are in the ideas section right now, dropping ideas for Sotomonte. Um, he's going to present us with the next submission. So as soon as I switch over, actually, Soto, if you could queue up the question mark so that we can get ready and then, then present the image um, once everyone's a little settled. So I'm switching over to our working screen here. Um, and yep, we got another question mark on it. Let me reset the timer real quick here. All right. This is... All right, I'm not gonna be so precious about this one. I'm just diving in head first, using this my diving is helmet. Great. All right, let in. me minimize this. Let's bring up our C4D. Digging it. Um, I'm just gonna save all this stuff because this is super cool. And then we should do like a museum for all these, like a five minute one or like a, you know, the ten minute. That would be all great. Right, I was thinking about uh, maybe doing a VR museum in Dude, Unreal. Yes, yes. <laughs> Walk around and look yes. at all the 3D models. I, I have been thinking of something similar, um, doing something for like all the community weekly challenges or something or like, yeah, I think oh, it could be cool. really sweet. So guys, um, for those of you just joining us, we got 2,000 people up in here. Thank you so much. We got the lovely Peter J. France joining us. Um, it's super chill to be doing this with What's you, man. Up? Thanks for coming back. This is like your third time, I think, on the stream. Um, of course. I mean, I always have a good time. You know, we're buddies. And so this is just a chance to hang out and do some gaming. Your time on a Saturday is chill, man. I really appreciate that. So, um, and, and so does everybody problem. else. So, guys, um, what we're doing right now, we're doing speed modeling challenges. We're on round two out of six. This is our, this is our last five minute round, and then we're going to go on 10 minute rounds, okay? Um, if you guys want to submit suggestions, this is live suggestions from y'all. There's a discord link pinned to the live chat. There's also a discord link in the description of this video. Go there, go to the submissions, uh, or the ideas channel right on the top left of the discord. And you guys can give a picture and a text, uh, like a prompt. And Soto Monte is working behind the scenes, our moderator, and he's prompting us here. We have not seen these. We don't know what we're going to model. All right. This is just live off the freaking top of the dome here. Um, so with that, I think we're ready to hop into the round two. This is our last five minute round. Heck yeah. Okay. Is everyone ready? Take your last sips. Let's do it. Okay. Last All right, Soto. Uh, hit it. Strand cat. <laughs> <laughs> all right i know exactly how i'm doing this okay uh let's go into a little a little front view situation here this is me the jankiest thing i'm gonna finish this in like two seconds <laughs> sketch spline sketch tool oh that's smart <laughs> it's so good. Love this picture. Just got it. Bam. Oh, is it closed? Closed. Probably best way to do this. These two bridge or weld. Where are you at, Mr. Weld? Are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's hit it with the extrude. <laughs> uh. 
And we need the caps. There we go. I probably could have done this a little a little better. Um <laughs> Oh Peter, your your screen is like glitched out, but I think that's just the prompt. What the you know? Heck. <laughs> Let's just say it's the prompt, okay? <laughs> yeah, it works. It's it's thematically relevant. Oh my god. Undo. Whew. Too many polygons. Um I feel like there's a hunch to this thing. So I'm gonna like Oh yeah. It has definitely has like a hunch going on. Um best way to do this. Grab like guys. Do a soft selection. It doesn't work with Maybe a bend modifier. Shoot. Well, let me get let me get to a point where it's actually a thing. Eyes. <laughs> Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so janky? <laughs> Okay, these are definitely like more squished. Yeah. Something something like this. Man, I'm kind of done. We have a minute left. Okay. Oh, damn, yours looks good. I mean, I don't know if that... <laughs> I don't know if I'd call that good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Rough. I mean, I feel like I could bevel the edges. Oh, no. Dude. I think I just crashed what? my system. Oh, that was close. That was close. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, I think I just crashed my system. Oh god. I'm, oh Clint. <laughs> so janky. Oh no. What is happening? Uh... Can we get an HDRI in oh, here with god. my extra time. 19, you have 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. <laughs> <laughs> my rendering on my CPU. Oh no. Yours oh no. So good. Okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's basically time, dude. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Wait, let me get, get your, this last Get your material. camera angle right. <laughs> like set up that camera angle perfect. It's like kind of top down a little bit. Oh my god. <laughs> kind of top down. That's so good. Why, dude? That's so good. <laughs> it's so freaky i kind of love this it's great character, it's though. a really funny character i I love how you <laughs> like your geometry is definitely way cleaner than mine um like mine thanks yeah we went about it different so how, how did you do yours what, what, what was your technique i i started with a sphere and i just like extruded it uh different pieces like very low poly and then i added a subdivision surface modifier on top of it to smooth everything out so I just modeled like a super low poly version at first, and then that's the way uh, to go, man. It. Look at that hunch. Wait, go to his back. What happened to his back, dude? It has so much like added weight. <laughs> dude, the traps on this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? But we need let's, to. Uh, oh turn on my this. god. And, give him, uh, give him some yeah, give abs. It, let's give him some traps. Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. Some back abs. It's like yeah, the, some abs. The two pieces of muscle going down each side of the spine, and then like yeah the the like the uh the airplane pillow there neck 
air, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Airplane pillow neck, right? It's like he swallowed six golf balls <laughs> that are conveniently placed. Uh, Some lats, God, excellent lats on this <laughs> on this lad. <laughs> Perfect. Oh my God, I'm so sorry for this poor thing. Creature. Wow. Let's check out everyone else's work. Dude, yours is hilarious. Yours looks like the most like a picture. It's just janky, big dude. It's just janky. Like I, I was like, let's go for the fastest Perfect. thing possible. Uh, yeah, using the 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 sketch spline sketch to, uh tool. It worked out. It worked out for yeah. what it was. Um, let's check everybody's. These are hilarious. Let's see. In the chat. Yeah. Where's the reset? Yeah. Oh, Discord. here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, Dude, this There's one's so the, many. the tattier guy. Uh, it's like, it's got so much sass and tood. Tinum did a really good job <laughs> on his. That's solid. Is this rigged? Yeah, seriously. What? Oh no, it's volume oh my modeling. God. I think it's the Angu. Yeah, one? I think it's volume. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like uh what's it called? Yeah. Yeah. Metaballs. This one looks like X ray essay looks like an eraser. Oh my god, what is monkey for? <laughs> what the heck? Oh my goodness. Oh that's dude, terrifying. That's like, what is up with that? That's so good. Wow. Oh, this the 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 conic form <laughs> too kind of looks like the soot ball. Yeah, I was about to say it. I like the Whoa, style check of that the heck. one, dude. Damn, that was like hair on what it? up, son. Like it just busted into the door. <laughs> These are so what? good. The lowly wizard got it for sure. Yeah, definitely. It's it's about the two. Yeah, the, it's like it's the, the hip. It's the hip that's like thrown out. <laughs> yeah, the this one's pop, another yeah. eraser MDK. Nice, mm -hmm. dude. The Robozord version, fancy shoes. <laughs> Hope that's pretty good. Um, that's Cole, Cole Essence is really good. The beefy one, General Custard's beefy kidney oh. bean. Shiver J. I'm gonna say Shiver J has the most accurate. Oh wow, one. it's really good. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. Wow. These yeah, are this all is so much fun. <laughs> Dude, I think this is a thing. I think this is a thing. We can do this like once a month or something. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, oh. this is great. Oh my god, Ed L has a whole <laughs> scene? I'm not even at it yet. There's so many. Damn. I know. There's so, so many. Seven more. Like, it just keeps going, dude. Oh wow. my god, Mitch Mitch. His is all like polygoned out. That's cool. <laughs> There's a lot. Dude, Arya's looks like that one character from yes, uh, Nightmare was Before say... Christmas. Mm -hmm. the, the guy with the spinning head. Or wait, no, not that bug, guy. The ghost. The bug, buggy I don't know. Man. I haven't seen the movie man. Yeah, yeah. The Dude, buggy we man. went on That's the Nightmare Before Christmas themed haunted mansion ride at Disney. And like, it, it, oh. we got stuck right so at that guy's part where he was like doing his dance and his song for like 30 <laughs> minutes oh my god yeah it was rough oh no How yeah, was I, that I will experience? always remember getting stuck there <laughs> was it like a good time or you or it was fine it was just like it? me and kim and we were chilling you know these are all great everyone got the vibe um ooh, a, a zottles is really cool i like that threw in the extra little flair um oh my god uh you know the sketch looks uh, incredible echo gold echo gold did a sketch that looks sick um adrian did a sketch <laughs> sato with the hdri very nice <laughs> um great there's too many there's so many to look at oh. um Vinland, yeah, good job here. Many. Good job with yours. <laughs> These are awesome. Yo, Furrymon has one with like really long, sexy legs. <laughs> 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 this is great, everybody. Good work. Everyone got it. Like they're doing, you guys are doing funny stuff. Congrats. 
I want to see an animation with like uh, uh, an army oh, like of every all these. single one, yeah, all of these put like together, charging. like charging at you. Yeah, like you, there, there's so many. All you hear is like you hear, shh, and it's just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you get over to guys. There's so many of these. It's great. Oh, cool. Um, Aska five hundred one has both of the sketches on paper. That's really cool. Like together. Yeah, these are all good, good stuff, guys. Very good stuff. Nice. Yeah. Good job, everybody. Okay. Um, let me scroll to the bottom. Yeah, we're at the bottom here. Good stuff. Um, so we're gonna hop back in. We're gonna do our first ten-minute round here. So let me reset the timer. Um, let's get this timer popping off. Uh, bear with me momentarily, y'all. Timer back up to not five hours. Um, Peter, you having a good time, man? Nah, man, I'm having a really horrible time. I, I don't want to yeah, do I this. I understand. Uh, didn't you? You said you had like plans in like five minutes, right? Yeah, I actually um, I yeah, have for like, sure. lunch plans in a bit. That's cool. I think I just had yeah, a and really... like what, like two or three minutes? You think or? Yeah, even like right now would be great because I'm okay. pretty tired of this. So then, but, um, like, I'm gonna have, like, yeah, no, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Cheers, you got your spicy water going. Cheers, yeah, cheers, spicy water, love it. All right, um, little yeah, cucumber mint, key lime popping off mm. with some key lime right now. Mm. No, I gotta ask, are you? Oh my god, somebody has the uh, the cat holding the uh, <laughs> diver great. helmet. That's funny. Okay, let me reset the timer briefly. Right. Eight. So this is round three. All right, we're going into two 10-minute rounds, all right? Uh, we don't know what we're going to model, but mm. it's going to be awesome. Soda Monte is working behind the scenes, and he's pulling your suggestions. Um, if, if you guys are just joining us, 2,200 people up in the chat. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. Thank you for the super chats. I really appreciate everybody. It's hard to get to them all, but just want to shout out John. Thank you for the super chat, sir. Uh, we got, uh, who else do we got? We got uh, Carcuta, Carcetta. Uh, thank you for the super chat. Um, the list goes on and on. Shoot, if I missed anyone else, I apologize. Um, but it's a good time. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you for your time. And we're going into round three. This is 10 minutes. All right, we got double the amount of time on this one. And we have no idea what we're going right. to do. Leave a submission uh, <laughs> suggestion for us. There's a link pinned right up here in the live chat. So, Peter, are you ready? I'm born All right, ready. Soto, hit Let's it. Let's do it. Rubber duck, nice. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Now, I've cool. seen EJ over at iDesign do this. And I'm wondering, I'm going to start with a cube, I think. I think so. Yeah. Sweet. OK. Loop selection, T for scale, scale this down, KL is going to be cut tool, make a little cut in here, scale this guy up a little bit. So I'm doing the low poly version and then I'm going to do like a subdivision mm. uh, surface. Yeah, I mean, that's such a great way to model anything. I love how we're doing this so differently too. <laughs> yeah, I, I would have thought we would do it pretty similar. What's this guy out? There. Guy out there.
Hmm. This is gonna be tough, dude. Dude, th yeah. This is yeah. gonna be tough for me. Damn. No, you got it. You got it. Wow. You certainly are. Are you got something going there? You definitely got something going. Um. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. it's a little weird shape, dude, but uh, better you know, than this. We're working on it. I don't it. know what this is. Is that a shoe? Like a cankle? <laughs> the Sphinx. Hmm. A cankle, yeah. <laughs> Hmm. How often do you model, Peter? How often do you model? Wait, things? How, how Wait, often I, do I you model stuff? Um. Yeah. A lot. Yeah, because I'm I'm always making assets cool. and stuff for games and for the Patreon. And you got a Patreon? Like that. Yes, sir. I'm going to be posting all these models on my uh, Patreon if anybody's interested in my janky yeah, models. Yeah, is there a link? <laughs> or do you have a, like, what, do you have, like, a slash something? Um, yeah, let me, let me check. I think it's just, like, yeah, Patreon.com slash should take, like, five minutes to check what that would be um, while I work on my model. Yeah, it's just uh, Patreon.com slash Peter France yes, if anybody's sir. interested. Got some cool 3D scan assets coming out in about uh, oh heck yeah dude. a day, and uh, I also made an what? egg generator. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's a little blender object. You uh, you can generate an egg shape and uh, specify whether it's cooked or not, whether it has pepper on it, and uh, it has bubbling displacement. So if anybody needs That's an super cool, egg, dude. <laughs> heck yeah, thanks. I'm gonna be. Releasing a Patreon probably this month, I think. I yeah. can't wait to see that. I'm you excited, got so much man. good I'm stuff. Ready. I'm ready. Oh, yeah. Hell yes. Just trying to get the shape down, you know? Ape. Ah! Dude, my, my control key is so rusty, I've spilled too much, like, pretzel dust into it. <laughs> Ew. Gross. Wow, dude, you're, you're killing it. Yeah, you're killing it. Yours is looking good too. You actually have like yeah. Right I'm trying shape. to get that base shape down, but I think I need to move on to the other features before it's too late. Uh, we got less than five mm. minutes. Right. Yep. Yeah, I should probably like start with a bill. Oh hell yeah! I'm getting some people subscribing to the oh, Patreon. Yeah. Thanks, y'all. Got some. Uh... Got some new stuff coming out in the next couple days. That's awesome, man. It's going to be sweet. I'm, uh, yeah. Yeah, you know what? Got to hop to the it. Patreon. Yeah. I got to to the Patreon. <laughs> uh, like, I mean, how, how much of it is, like, manageable for you versus, like, it feel, feels like a burden to, like, constantly, you feel like you're always behind and, like, trying to post. You know what I mean? Yeah, I just, you know, it's, the nice part about it is that I'm always working on stuff, so I have things to post, just like assets that I'll make totally. for my own things that I can post, and hopefully other people will get some use out of it, but, you know, I've I've been really slacking, because, you know, just working at Corridor, 
didn't have much time to Fair, yeah. do that stuff. But these days, I got a ton of time, and I've uh, been working on a ton of stuff. So, gonna start uploading more regularly and giving people actual Heck yeah, uh, yeah. bang for their buck, which I regrettably haven't always done. It's but, cool, you know. You do what you can, right? You know, we're working on it. Yeah, yeah like yeah. what I'm doing with this duck. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy dude wow this is not good not good <laughs> if if you saw this on turbo squid it would be going for $200. or it would be free mine would definitely be the free one <laughs> yeah there's no in between it's either <laughs> way too expensive or like weirdly amazing and completely free no, mine's free because it's janky as all, dude. I'm going to make mine all kind of... <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make this janky on purpose. But the personality in yours is, is it's gotta unmatched. Like, it's got to be like Buscemi'd out, you know? Just, <laughs> I gotta kinda just, yeah, absolutely. Like, we have a minute and 51 seconds, Peter. All right, I'm going for uh, Mater materials now. Dude, materials. He's on materials. Just gonna add a little subsurf. A little make it a little shiny. Actually, rough and then a clear coat. Actually, no, it looks crappy. Let's do it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> like that and then <laughs> What the I'm gonna plug a little oh noise God. texture into a bump. Y'all see there's hope, you know? If you're like me, like there's hope knowing that you can get better you know um how do i make this better <laughs> as quick as possible um how about <laughs> that looks so funny <laughs> oh it's so bad <laughs> uh low key i'm 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 jealous that's hilarious i wish i made that i'm loving this dude this is a good time peter i'm glad i'm glad we're doing this together Oh, yeah. Yeah, thanks for inviting me. I'm having a we great time. We have 45 seconds. Cool. <laughs> yours looks so good yours looks like a freaking beeple render dude i think he has i think he has like a rubber duck he's like a rubber oh my duck God. in the desert or something i forget which one uh, yeah i think you're right actually. all right dude yeah. that's time no dude oh, time's, last time's up dude it's over man too what is that an ocean too late peter <sighs> too mine look okay look late. so mine mine looks like a cankle but then if you actually look if you actually look at it correctly, <laughs> it's a duck, and it's and it's a duck that's had better better yeah. days. <laughs> <laughs> the duck that waddled out into the road at a very <laughs> poor time. Yours looks so good, dude. That's so. That's awesome. Thank you. Thanks. I appreciate that. Man, that's sick. You like you had time for materials, man. What the heck? Um. All right, yo. Let, let me see that butt. <laughs> let me see that butt, though. See that butt? No, no, the no. Butt, I, I don't want to show the butt. It's my least. I'm the least yeah, proud of the butt. Yeah, not looking too good, dude. I don't know about this anymore. I know. Yeah, it's it's a little square. It's like a lizard tail that got chopped That's off. That's great. Okay, so what was your technique on this? What'd you do? On this, I started with the sphere, and then I just extruded it out a little bit, and yeah, it just starting with the general shape already is makes it much easier. So I basically just started with that and then I would take like a little piece and just extrude it and move it just like following the general shape. And then once I had that, I took the whole thing and I just like used proportional editing to, uh, mm. you know, grab a little piece and just shift it back. Yeah. So that'd be that like curve. soft selection in C4D. And then just, uh, yeah, yeah. And then just grab this stuff and extruded it a little bit. That's great. So, so it's all about like yeah, knowing just, how like you went with that approach 
and that worked out way better than mm. my freaking box head looking duck. This thing is changing. <laughs> oh, the wrong yeah, way. You go I mean, well, I don't know about the wrong way. It just needs a lot more love. Um, but, but what did you do? Sorry like, with the how'd cube. You, how'd you start it? Um, which may have been my first mistake. And then I extruded to basically get a low poly version of this thing. And then right, I right. threw it into a subdivision surface. Um, and I like just kind of chopped it mm -hmm. up a little bit, try to get that low poly. Uh -huh. Um, yeah. and then I just did a plane here for the bill that I just, same mm -hmm. deal, you know, start with a plane, extruded it out, yeah. um, threw it into a subdivision surface. And then my eyeballs are just stretched and squashed spheres. Yeah. Um, same. I love yeah, this character. That's, <laughs> that's great, dude. Good times. <laughs> it's so let's, much personality. Uh, let's check out everyone else's. Let's see what they got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, damn. Oh, there's some good ones. Oh, there's some good janky top. ones, too. Everyone had time for their textures. That's great. Wow. Oh, wow, Gub. There's so many. Dude, there's so many. Oh, my. There's some <laughs> cursed ones. <laughs> Holy shit, Jacob! I have to get That's to the top first. Oh my god! I know. There's so many. Okay, 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 okay. There's Here we hundreds. go. Here we go. <laughs> um, uh, curse, dude. Yeah. Okay. Good Herman's. stuff. Good stuff. Uh, deadly laser. Good stuff. I like uh, the Minecraft. Yeah. Ooh, I like the low poly Good version. stuff. Um, yeah, three gun. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Uh, monkey. Oh my god, pork! What the heck? This is like jacked. That's so creepy. Whoa. That's incredible. Uh, Aska's good. With like, I like how you're including them all. Yeah. More low poly. I love the yeah, shading. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just scrolling down. There's a lot here. Um, the notable standout ones. Jay Lynn kind of cursed a little bit. I like it. Um. <laughs> uh, Pillow Fort. I think Pillow that's Fort, a chicken. Oh wait, no, that's oh, a duck. It is a, it is a duck. And it is a good sculpt. A good yeah. sculpt. Um, <laughs> slowery, like it just got squished. Yeah. It looks like a Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> dude, has Hesuvius? So angry. <laughs> Jacobster, wow, that's really good. Yeah. That's really great. Damn. Damn, even got the. Is that a model they downloaded? Because that's really good for. It is we, really good. Yeah. The time we had. That's amazing. If they, uh, if you model that, that's incredible. Um. What else? Uh. Lowly wizard is pretty good. That's 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 fun. Um. Lots of really good ones. Yeah. Pickle juice. Yours kind of looks like that frog a little bit. Oh Dude, yeah. Dude, Stu Pop is Homer Simpson, as a duck. <laughs> <laughs> Oak tree is like, I feel like this very memeable duck. It's like me when I, when yeah, I, it's great. You know. <laughs> oh, let's let's try and find the most. Oh wow, Big Mac! Holy crap, that's really good. Let's try and find the most Damn, cursed yeah. one. Oh okay, N uh, okay. Niz Nizient. Oh my god, there's literally a Homer Simpson. The duck. one above Immortal Pickles is pretty cursed. Under right here, that one is pretty damn cursed. It's like. <laughs> What else do we? Have? Oh my God, Mr. V V K Y looks. It almost looks like a person. <laughs> oh my God, that one is up there for most cursed. Spoilers. Okay, let's see what else we got. Oh, nice. Got the shades. <laughs> Default animator. Dude, blue twist. <laughs> do you see the drawing? <laughs> blue twist. Oh my God, that's amazing. I was just looking at MN78 above the drawing. Yeah. It, uh, it looks like that duck put on lipstick Like it's poorly. seen things, dude. It's seen things. <laughs> um, there's a lot here. There's a lot. Um, <laughs> Extreme Derpy is pretty good. <laughs> Echo Gold. Mm -hmm. I like your, your um, animated drawings. These are really good. I'm digging these. Animated drawings? Let's see. 
yeah, these are all solid. Um, yeah, great job, yeah. everybody. Dude, these are super Brad, fun. Brad, <laughs> you'll know okay. the teeth, dude. I need to it's catch about up the to teeth you. and the the low lit. Oh my god, Evolver has a whole little. Is it scene. Below that's that awesome. I, I lost track. I can't see what you're doing. Evolver, I thought he had work to do, man. He's making ducks. Ooh. I, you know, that is a beautiful sketch. Very talented sketch. Yeah, I'm trying to catch up with you, trying to sync up here. Oh, oh, I thought it was before you. See, I'm just going through. There's so many. These are all really good, guys. Everyone has really captured the essence Great. of the duck. <laughs> oh, nice. You got a wide duck. I like that. So fun seeing all the personality in all of these. Seb Chen, really good stuff here. I like that. Ben, good drawing, man. <laughs> Freeze 3D has the cat and the duck together. I like it. Oh, you were past me. <laughs> Evolver, yeah, with his, with his scene. Son, those are assets. Mm -hmm. I know you working. You don't got time for that. You got assets pulled <laughs> up, ready to go. <laughs> That's great. These are solid. Aino with the drawing, black and white drawing is super solid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shadow Dwarf with the teeth, digging it. Yeah, look at this. We got this really cool drawing. Everyone's doing such a good job. I'm really proud of you guys. Thank you for uh, for putting in the effort and doing this with us. This is really cool. We got 2,400 awesome. people in the chat going strong. Good stuff. Damn, Bogdi with that sketch. That's incredible. <laughs> Crawworth. I like it. I like the, the MS paint. It's stylized. I dig it. Really cool. <laughs> Ed L. Good stuff. <laughs> Lachi. A little cursed. Wow, there's like uh, Oto doing the Angry Bird. That's really well sculpted. Heck. Very good, everybody. Ooh. Magic of Voxel. Dr. Weesh, very good. That's really cool. Uh, snowy, that, that's awesome. So many ducks. Oh, wow, virtual, that's really good. It's, oh my god, we're not even really? halfway through. Uh, gub, gub Wobbler. Your drawings are really good, man. I dig those so much. Derek, thank you for the super chat, brother. Appreciate you, man. Vinland, nice Photoshop there. Oh, 3D AU. That lighting, dude. It's almost like a pirate duck. I love it. <laughs> wow, really? I hit the end. So many good ones. <laughs> wow. Bogdi. That drawing. Jeez, that's so good. That's so good. Just using, like, there was no lines. It was just filling in shadow and light. That's so good. I'm always so impressed with 2D art because, like, I feel like with me, I, I let the computer do so much of the work. It's like I just get it halfway there, and the computer's like, ah, I got you. But with 2D, it's like you have to have the whole thing in your head before you start it's so impressive yeah drawing drawing is really fun it, it, it... you're Thanks, a dude yeah i try drawer. um whoa, holy crap the angry duck whoa it's so angry yeah wow yeah it's very similar though like kind of it starts with a sketch and it goes from there um dang mm -hmm. these are all really good guys right. good. there's so many Wow, Rose Rosu. That's amazing. The drawing ones are really cool. Man. All right, we gotta we gotta move on to the next ten minute one here. I'll scroll down as much as Alrighty. I can. <laughs> These are awesome. <laughs> Piece of pizza is right <laughs> in your face. I love it. That's good, man. Good stuff. I'll at least get to the end, you know, I won't get everyone's Everyone's ducks in here. 
For sure. People making yeah. movies? Holy crap. Mm. Oh, that's cool. I dig that. I like the low poly ones too. <laughs> Oregon. So many ducks. That's it. All right. So, Peter, we are on to oh. our fourth round. Four out of six rounds. This is our last 10 minute round. And then we'll move on to the 30 minute ones. Mm -hmm. um, Vincent, thank you for the super chat. All right. Greetings from Ireland. Um, I love Ireland. Been there last year or the year before for my birthday. Good stuff. Oh, God. Oh, it's so good. I want to go, man. Mm -hmm. Looks beautiful. It is a beautiful place. Um, okay. So let's switch over. We're going to Sweet. pop this off. Um, 2,400 people up in the chat. Thank you guys for joining us. Um, hopefully, y'all are learning something as we do this. Because I know I am. This is fun. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. All right, here we go. Um, this is our round four, our last 10 minute round. Soda Monte. Let me reset the timer and hit it. The Eiffel Tower. Wow. Kind of okay. hard to see right. from that tiny view there, but I'll do my best. I'm going to pull up a reference image for myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that, we, yeah, yeah, is that within the rules? How would I go about this? Best way to. Damn, this is a tough one. Good suggestion. I guess we can start with like base shape. God bless you. <laughs> Just gonna start with the grid and uh, remove everything but the. Four corners, and then start extruding those up. Maybe I'll, yeah. Uh, Got something like that. Then I'm going to merge. Overlapping vertices, so these are all connected. And then that. Here. 13. Hard to tell based off of this tiny it looks like there's something like this up in there. Definitely suggest uh, looking it up on Google Images because that's okay. yeah, been helping it. me a lot. Having good references, you can't beat it. Wow, this thing is advanced. Um, it can be advanced. I meet like halfway. That width is maintained. 
basically throughout. I think you you had it. You were doing what I'm doing now, but you just did it faster. Oh, nice. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I, I just started with the four corners and like connected them at the top. And then I'm doing like, I'm just trying to get the shape right here. Doing this such a, so slowly. Six minutes. Holy crap, six minutes? Damn it. Wow, okay. Brute force. Um, okay. okay, okay, okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to triangulate it. No, subsurf, tad some geometry. I'm going to triangulate it. And I'm going to throw a wireframe modifier on it. I'm doing, I, I waste so much time. Hell yeah. Oh no. Wow, that's bad. Let's see if I can recover. And we upload this to Turbo Squid. That's the thing. That's like that's what it is. <laughs> Have to upload it to Turbo Squid <laughs> and submit it by the time the timer's out. <laughs> I'm gonna make these little platforms. Wow, dude, are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? What am I doing over here? What am I doing? <laughs> wow. Gotta throw the, that wow. wireframe on there, son. Oh my god, dude. I just want to quit now. We have four minutes. Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't have looked. Just Don't just even say wonder. that, dude. Don't even say The whole chat is going to explode. Um, <laughs> wow, what am I doing? This is rough. Hmm. Crap. Use a circle and like roughly line it up to the edge. Uh, three minutes. Okay. We got this. Okay, let's see. I don't even know how you did that. Like, I'm gonna have to subdivide this like crazy and do like trying. I'd have to triangulate it. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. Oh. Yeah, I like triangulate it and then through a wireframe modifier on there. Minute fifty. I'm flies. Seriously, dude. Okay, that's good enough. I'm 
Let's duplicate this. Throw it on the other so side. Slow. This is humbling. <laughs> I honestly like in real. I've seen the modeling uh, tools in C4D, and I think Blender is just yeah, like I, I would, easier. I would probably agree with that. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank oh no. 55 seconds. No, 55 seconds. Five seconds? Okay. Shift C searches anything. Awesome. MW. Oh, I'm just. Wait I'm a second. Just, just ranting. Shift C will search anything ah. in C4D and then. Oh, I need to get the oh, top piece 28 seconds. I missed the arch, dude. Maybe I can get the arch real quick. I. Oh yeah, you got. Seventeen you got seconds, it. dude. Nah. Uh, material. Material. There's no freaking way, dude. Yeah, I'm. I'm not. Wow, didn't have time for that. You I got wasted it. that time, you got it. dude. That's that's time. That's time. Wow. All right, let me no, no, do no, a no, no, no. Yours looks good enough. No, yours looks good enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, there we go. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, all right, let me see yours. Let me see yours. Go full frame on that. Dude. Good stuff, man. Whew. It's this is a, such a hard thing to model. Also, I'm realizing my proportions are a little so bit, off. a little bit. Such a little squashy Man, guy. Man, that was tough. That was super tough. Yeah, I, I feel like just the the um like the top third of yours needs to be tapered a little bit more. Yeah, um, you're totally and right. Then I need the arch. You got the arch on the bottom down for sure. I need to get that. Um, mm -hmm. But I think. If you ask people, like, what is this? M most people would be like, uh, oh, yeah. The Eiffel Tower. And yes, mine does look like a telecommunications tower. I agree. <laughs> you are not wrong, okay? Um, <laughs> like, it still looks like the Eiffel Tower, though. Like, you got the shape down and you got the, like, the uh, wireframe. Yes, thank look. goodness. Thank goodness I got the wireframe. That was what did it. Um, it's the arch. I needed the arch. Mm -hmm. I think that would have, that would have done it for me. Yeah. Um, Dude, my arch is so janky. It's literally a circle mesh that I extruded upwards and then just like went like <laughs> with it and then subdivided it along That's the way. Great. It's better than not having an arch. That's the difference between delivering the the vibe and not delivering the vibe because that's the biggest thing. Someone said mine mm. mine looks like a telecommunications arch and that or um tower, right? That's that's a negative. Those are like I didn't win in that case because someone someone thought it was something else, but with yours, you know what that is, mm. right? You know, I wonder if it's the uh, the arch that helps make it feel like that. Let me like let me take this out and let's see if it still feels like the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, see, it definitely looks more like a just a radio tower. Um, I think though, for yours, having that tapered butt. It look it looks like the Eiffel Tower mm -hmm. more so than mine because mine is like not as tapered. Um, I see, I see, yeah. So here's the question though: Is this the Vegas version or the Paris version? <laughs> That's the question. It's a good question. Let's take a look at everyone else's. Let's see what. Uh, Shit. Let's see what we got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Are you going from the, the bottom heck? up or from the top? Probably from the top, yeah. I, I just like found one that looked amazing. There's no way they modeled that in this time. Render Warrior. That's ridiculous. That's just a photo. <laughs> Let's go to the very tippy, tippy top. All right, sweet. Um. Damn, nice. dude. Nice. There's some good ones here. Oh, Sloth Dev. Time. That's good. I like that. 
got some drawings very cool very cool <laughs> animated with arms and legs abstract games i like your rendition <laughs> here very nice yeah this is a tough one 10 minutes in 10 minutes is very wow. difficult yeah a lot of these are just flat it looks like you yeah. guys are just doing like one one chunk of it mm. um yeah this is tough reference is the key on this one very specific shape definitely good work everybody oh yeah seriously oh i like the curvy one Cave dave has a good uh, perspective drawing that they did yeah great Sick. perspective Oh, wait, a wild guy. I see what you're saying. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Nice. AR, uh, HSM, I say your biggest, your biggest thing here is uh, reference. Just try and use that reference for perspective and proportion. I think that'd be the main note for everybody is um, reference. Yeah, use the reference mm. as much as possible. <laughs> also, just like... If there's any way to bring the image into your 3D software, just like using it as a background is always so helpful. I always do that for like my yeah, people. Yeah, absolutely. And absolutely. Uh, Nubu, very good. Very good drawing there. Oh, yeah, like Ronan's. Ronan's good. Ronan's That's one cool. of our mods. He's up in the That's chat cool. right now. I think he's uh, moderating. Oh, hell yeah. Honeycomb Tower. Wow. That's cool. MDK definitely that's like a great he's another mod version. too yeah um yeah totally oh no way it's yeah, very that good it's fantastic yeah it reads very well modeled oh that like mm -hmm. curvy wick like fire one Ooh. oh the snail Ooh, yeah that's great <laughs> that's Sick, great man quantum that's not bad i know that's good too Damn, yeah, I, you know, with those good. sketches. Damn. <laughs> Jonas. Reference, reference, reference. Jarvis is like, I don't know what I made. <laughs> Hit that reference. <laughs> nice. Someone made a hard tower. That's oh. Augustia? That's really good. Really good. Clint, can I issue yeah. a challenge to our viewers? I would love if anybody, you know, has some time and wants a little project to, uh, I would love to see, like, combining all of these things that we're making into, like, a scene that makes sense contextually. You mean, like, you know what all I mean? of the, how, or, or, or you, you say, take these five models. Yeah, like, taking the, take your duck, take your cat and your Eiffel Tower and whatever else we make and like put it in the same scene and like try to That's tell a story with it. Yeah, that could be cool. Maybe that, that could be, be the next challenge here, the weekly challenge. Oh, oh yeah, yeah you do challenges. That's fun. About that. um, yeah, you have to like use all the models in a unique way to tell a story. Okay, yeah, I like that. That could be cool. Um, all right, back to the Discord. We'll take a look at... Uh, a few more of these and then we'll hop back into uh, round five out of six that we'll do and this will be um, two 30 minute rounds so we will really have to work in the detail oh, yeah. on these next two rounds yeah these are all I'm ready these are all pretty darn good um, this one was significantly more difficult yeah definitely a lot of detail which is exactly. uh, you know hard to get and a lot of people went for just like switched up the style to like a low poly or like game asset style, and that definitely <laughs> Echo Gold again with the solid cartoony drawings, really good. Muggy Sleet, that's got to be an asset. That's really good. There's no way ten minutes, like it's freaking nuts. Um, some really good drawings, everybody. Really impressed. Oh, wow. Ah, Adam Ecola. That's cool. Very nice, very nice. I dig it, Ben. Good stuff. Asuka, I really like how you're putting all the drawings into one. Um, Oak Tree, good, good job on the top-down perspective. I'm really digging these drawings.
Sweet. Good stuff, everybody. Wow, um, yeah. Wow, this one's great. Nice. I don't know if that was modeled in 10 minutes, but good job. I'm assuming y'all are being honest with this. <laughs> Challenging yourself. Render Warrior, if that... There's no way. There's just no way. There's no way on some of these. Oh, I think Render oh, I Warrior is a photo. I could be wrong, though. <laughs> this is good stuff. Yeah, I like all this. Everything lined up. <laughs> Random out of context pictures. <laughs> Evolver, thanks for the super chat, man. He says he loves the format. He stopped working to to watch and join. So that's chill, man. Heck yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Hell yeah. That's Always everything. So Peter, um, we're on to our fifth round. This is gonna be a 30 minute round. We're taking your suggestions. Uh Sotomonte probably has something already queued up. Hell yeah. Um Yeah, awesome. me too. This will be I'm one excited. where we'll actually have time to add detail. So um I'm excited for this one. It's going to be good. And after these yeah. two rounds of 30-minute uh, submissions or 30-minute prompts, then uh, Peter is going to bounce, and then uh, I'll do the weekly challenge. I'll go over some of the weekly challenge art. Um, and then, yeah, yep. it's going to be a good time. So let's hop into it. Let's hop into the third one here. Let's switch over to our working scene. And let me queue up a 30-minute timer here briefly. Bear with me, y'all. Okay. Somebody's using if uh, somebody's asking if we can use online textures. I mean, sure. Yeah, it's a modeling challenge, you know. So like, yeah, texturing is cherry on top. Mm -hmm. Okay, Peter, are you ready? Born ready. I'm definitely have My to son. use the restroom Let's after this it. next one. Um, <laughs> take you know a what? Break? Yeah, you let's let's take a two minute break. I'll be back. Yeah, cool. yeah sounds good. I'll yeah, be back in like two minutes or so. See you guys soon. Right. What's up, y'all? Yo, yo. The hair's a little crazy, you know, but whatever. Whatever. It's all good. Um, so I'm waiting on Peter. He'll probably be back in like two seconds. Um, 
But thank you guys for joining us. This is really exciting, really fun. I think this could be a thing. This could work here. Um, it'd be fun to do this maybe once a month. We can do texture challenges. We can do simulation challenges, whatever. I think it could be really sick. Um, Peter, you back? I hear movement. Soon, soon. Uh, if you guys have any questions, I'm down to answer any questions while Peter makes some coffee. And then we'll hop into our last two rounds, 30 minutes each. Appreciate you all for the super chats and the support. Very, very cool. Um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited. We're going to be, I'm going to be making a Patreon uh, this month. We'll probably do an announcement video later this month. And it's going to be really sweet. It's going to be an awesome chance for you guys to uh, connect a little bit more to get some stuff for free. Well, not for free, but just it'll, you know, you know how Patreon works. It's a monthly thing, but um, I'm going to have all my assets, packs, uh, project files, everything uh, behind the scenes stuff, art review, uh, streams. There'll be a lot of cool stuff um, that I'm excited to, an to announce. So coming soon, very, very soon, y'all. Um, so any questions y'all might have? Thoughts on Peter's stash? I love the fact that he's rocking it. Yeah, he's, he's rocking that stash. Do I ever do sculpting? I do not know. Um, let's see. When's the next community challenge? Oh, that's a good question. I'm actually announcing the next big community challenge um, next week. So next week will be the big one. We're doing things a little bit different, um, as in the prompt will be different. It's going to be really cool, and I'm so excited to piece them all together to form something that I'll announce uh, next week. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for that. It's going to be sweet. I'm going to challenge you guys over the next month um, to do something cool. So yeah, it'll be good. Yo, son. Um, Got that coffee? Oh, yeah. I need it. A little sleepy. All right. I'm feeling refreshed. You feeling good, Peter? Feeling great. All right. Do some Round modeling. five of six. We got 30 minutes on this one. We don't know what we're going to model yet. This is from your suggestion uh, through Discord. Um, we're going to do one more suggestion. If you want to guys, if you guys want to get your suggestions in, there's a link attached to the live chat here. Um, go on over, post a picture and a text description. And Sotomonte, the moderator working behind the scenes right now, he's going to pull it and present it to us. So that's exactly what he did. He did here for round five. Uh, so to Monte, let's go for it, man. What you got? What is that? <laughs> what is that? Is that a Pokemon? I, I think it's a like a, an aquatic creature. Axolot? A lizard type oh. thing? I don't know. Whoa, okay. All I know is that they just added them to Minecraft. Okay. So cute. Oh my god. I love this little guy. How am I going to do this? All right. I think I'm going to follow your rubber duck situation. Solid. There we go. So we have uh, 30, minutes. 30 minutes? Yeah. All right. Sounds good. What a crazy looking creature. I can't believe there are things like that that exist. That's just amazing. Yeah. It's this totally like just a Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. So when's the last time you've been to the aquarium? I actually went a few months ago. I went to the San Francisco uh like pier aquarium, which was okay. It's not the best aquarium, but it was fun and I got to see cute little fishies and some sharks and stuff. It was great. That's cool. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan. Sure. I, we went to the Long Beach Aquarium probably like, uh, I don't know, maybe like two months ago. I'm a big fan of like the penguins and stuff. The birds. Yeah, but yeah penguins are my, are my absolute favorite. Penguins are super cute. They really are. Oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a little reference image here. Let's drag that right on into Blender. This is very similar to like that raindrop thing you did. I feel like. Oh yeah, little dude. Hmm. Alright. Uh, um Smart what you're doing, Peter. Say that again? Just smart what you're doing. What am I doing? What yeah, what what you're doing is smart. Like the oh, way you're thanks. modeling it? Yeah, dude, mo modeling off of pictures is always so much easier. Get some symmetry up in here. No one has time for that. <laughs> well, I'm going to turn on screencast keys so you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, is that a blender like option? It's a little plug on <laughs> plug on. <laughs> it's a plugin where it says on the screen what keys are being pressed. It, you may not be able to, actually, yeah, you can see it kind of just above your head there. Oh like great. Half and half. It, I might be able to move it actually. Yeah, why don't you work on that? Yeah, I'll, I'll work on the model. Is that visible? This is like there we go. the last thing I do is model this kind of stuff. It's it's so <laughs> not I, what I do. Yeah, I, I feel a little lucky because I model stuff like this all the time. I'm going to get that. So crazy. It's little face, dude. It's so cute. <laughs> no, I love it. <laughs> it's, it's insane that that's a real thing. I know, dude. World's an amazing place. Mm -hmm. Wonder if I can actually make this part of. Tail, kind of like a long tail, and it tapers. It's a mm -hmm. weird tapering situation. I think my biggest issue is I just don't have the workflow down for stuff like this. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I, I've been doing like character modeling for a long time, and I've the best way I've realized for me is just like starting with some kind of uh, rectangular or like slightly circular shape, and then going like lengthwise, extruding outward, and then you just take some of those faces and you just like extrude them mm -hmm. out of the limbs. Ooh, such an interesting shape. Like actually, yeah, having references helping all so of much. These kind of just taper down. Seems. And it like starts all spindly. Look. <laughs> such a strange shape um it goes from like a yeah. a tube horizontal to a flat tube vertical and i have to you're transition right transition between that Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to start extruding some limbs here. Actually, I'm going to turn on my mirror modifier so I only have to do this once. Yeah, there you go. Cute little bud. We got twenty <laughs> minutes. Sweet. I'm flies, dude, during these things. Honestly. It's crazy. Whoa. Oops. Yeah, it has this like spine. Right, yeah, kind of like a weird translucent type mm -hmm. thing. And then like the the fin piece like tapers to a, like mm -hmm. on the top and bottom tapers to a real like thin translucent piece.
kind of happy with that. Um. Wait. Let's get some fingies. Ah, better than nothing. All right. Nice. On his fingers. They definitely taper like super hard. Mm-hmm. Dude, I feel like tapering is the word of the day. It's a good one, dude. Ah, uh, my gizmo is all jacked. What's wrong with it? Just not aligned. That sucks. Best way to do this. Your bevel situation? Yeah, that kind of works. Rose. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hmm. On wait, Peter, didn't you do like you had like a pack of like did you model? I remember one time at Corridor, you were I was like sitting next to you and you were working with like a frog and then you had like a bird scene in the forest and stuff. Were those 
modeled by you? Oh or were yeah. Those, was, are those uh, a pack? No, that was a pack from uh, Blender Market. There's like a pack of 250 uh, low poly animals. That's, that's great. I, I love just opening that up and making shitty little scenes with it. It looks so good. Yeah, your your animal stuff looks really great. Nice. Dude, okay, I feel like I put the arm... Love, I love creature stuff. It's always fun. I need to detach this arm and move it down to another section. That's looking good, son. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not upset yet. <laughs> yet. Oh, I got him. Like these. You know, that's a good question. Time. We got 11 minutes left. I have to move on to yeah. the face and the, and the gills. Oh, I forgot about the freaking face and the gills. Damn it! And it has feet too. Are you kidding me? I'll just copy these guys. Copy this really quick because I just did it. <laughs> Guy's so cute. What the heck? <laughs> I know, I want to be the friend. He's got little feet he's popping off. Dude, my stomach is growling. Right, what's that head look like? <laughs> snacky go, poo. Snacky. snacky poo. How you feeling about yours? Cool. I'm digging mine. I'm happy with it. <laughs> That's great. That's great. All right, it's time. It's time to ruin it with the face here. <laughs> Has these beady little eyes. Yeah, they're cute. I think the key here is symmetry. Totally. Yeah, it's definitely not worth doing something more than once. Oh, wow, that is horrible. Little mouth, dude. So cute. <laughs> so cute. 
It's the fact that the eyes. This is a great suggestion. Yeah, yeah. Whoever suggested this, kudos. <laughs> Agree. <laughs> I'm not I'm not too upset about this. We have 6 minutes. Boy, all right. Shoot. Oh. Can I just have like a month to work on this? <laughs> Seriously, man. Uh, okay, material time. I'm not even I'm not even messing with materials. That's not bad. It is not bad. Okay. Okay, here goes. I'm doing this in like the worst way. I literally did the exact same thing. Just janking it into place? Yeah, pretty much. Use a Veronoi texture inverted to get kind of a scaly look. If you unwrap. Oh, that doesn't look good. Four minutes. That looks great, man. Wow, that's cool. All right, the gills. Interesting. Okay. Oh shit! There are gills, aren't there? Hmm. Okay. This looks so weird. How did I fuck this up? Mm. 
What the fuck? Clint, what's the vibe with uh, cursing on your stream? I mean, I don't. But you know me, I, I, I just don't anyway. Um, yeah. Sorry, it's just been slipping out. Cool. I mean, there's, there's some kids up in here, so. I'll, I'll keep it chill. Sometimes, sometimes it comes out, you know. It do. There we go. There we go. Now we're talking. Uh, two minutes. Cool. I think overall, let's see, we got a minute left. Make sure you guys post your submissions so we can take a look at them. we got here oh shit all right 20 seconds what about the uh We're done top part shoot top part what top part the little oh the spine spin. yeah kind 20 of, seconds all right i can do that kind of goes up a little six seconds <laughs> and i think that's time that's good enough. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. Dude, yours looks so good. Thanks, man. All right. Yeah, you got it up in the forest there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait. Very cool. Whew, I wish I had more time for materials. You even got the hair fluff on the, on the like, little antenna things, too. <laughs> yeah, he has weird little, like, tendrils coming off of the antenna. You said there were gills. Where are the gills? Are they like under the oh, mouth? Oh no, no, I kept saying gills. I meant the antennas with the with like the, oh, the I fur see, I see. on them. Yeah, yeah. Who knows what I'm saying? Dude, yours is freaking cute. Yeah, this guy. Look at this freaking guy. <laughs> He's ready for a good time. I want to hang out with that little guy. Yeah, I, I'm. For me, I'm happy with this man. Like, this is the last thing I model. But I got the tail like yeah. tapered at the top and bottom. It actually looks like it has some like depth to it or some thickness to it. Mm -hmm. um and then yeah the spine piece that comes up and the arms and stuff and probably could have flattened yeah, these out a little bit more tapered it a little bit more but mm. yeah i was happy with how this turned out um it could be a lot cleaner and oh yeah but yeah you know always stuff we can improve on but looks great yeah dude um that was awesome that was really good to Hell work yeah. on um that was fun see i'm gonna scrub through the chat here real quick what, what, what on earth? Random diagnostics. Whoa. Oh, my God. These are awesome. Holy shit. Yeah, let's see. Oto. Let's see what you guys got. Oh, my God. These are incredible. Going to the top wow. here. Wow, so many people gave it a shot. 
Yeah. I'm still getting up to the top. Oh, there's a little poly one. <laughs> the Minecraft axolotl. That's so good. Squidgy. I love the low poly version, man. It's like so satisfying. Oh, that's that's from Minecraft. Oh, is it? Oh, it's just a freaking picture they posted? Yeah. God dang. Got trolled. I mean, but they said it's from Minecraft. I got double trolled. I could have read. Stitch. Somebody just has a yeah, lizard. Yeah, that's crazy. An iguana or something? My, uh, my science teacher used to have one. They're so cool. Yeah, they're the best. Oh, no. This one got chopped. Horrible. Oh, Maja's drawing? That's sick. That's really good, yeah. This is a Pokemon. Like, how is this just not a Pokemon? Honestly. It's like a real-life Pokemon. Lots of drawings this time around. Uh, yeah, love the drawings. X-Ray. Good attempt, man. Good stuff. Like, it, it looks like it. I think it's just the textures, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Papa I Bless. Know. That's terrifying. Cursed. <laughs> so cursed. Good stuff, Larry. <laughs> A fin, uh, fingy boy. I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. That's cute. <laughs> oh, we got some hair on Anakin. I know. It's like half cursed. It has a vein. Look at that vein on the side. <gasps> oh, Zix. That's intense. Whoa, that's cool. Yeah, that's super cool. Interesting style. You didn't got the ribs in. That's cool. Nubu, really good stuff. Good drawing. Yeah. That's like Wish Dragon. Oh, I love the the blocky. Yeah, blocky looks like Wish me. Dragon or something. Mr. Handsome, hmm. the low poly, but who knows, maybe that's a troll. <laughs> oh my god, Manny 1000. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh boy. That's intense. Oh man, that's great. Whoa, what happened to Reigns? It looked like a mouse. The side, what happened on the side? Little spider legs. <laughs> Great. Roman with the subsurface a little bit. I Nice's is my favorite. Yeah, it's just like a little like little pod. <laughs> Whoa. This like buff axolotl. Yeah. Cool. Um, Zergs isn't bad. Mm hmm. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Bubblegum. Love that subserve. Whoa, cool sculpt by JTXC. That's animated. That's cool. Yeah, that's a good one. Love the low poly to me. Mm hmm. Oh, somebody made the Minecraft version. Yeah, that's really Oh sick. my god, Mr. VKY. Yeah, Mr. VKY <laughs> is hilarious. So good. It's like a bubblegum monster. <laughs> Nomo, what's up? It's awesome. <laughs> Crystal picks. <laughs> uh, that's good. <laughs> Love that one. Whoa. Um, I, Aino's looks like a, uh, what is it called? What's that Pokemon? Dragonair? Or Dragonite? I don't know. That drawing? Whoa. I love Blue Twist. Yeah. That's a beautiful art style. It's like just dots. That's... Blue Twist, I want to put that up in my house. That's awesome. Super cool. Whoa, bronze is really good. Bronze. Oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah, you can definitely tell when people use reference images. Yeah. Yeah, it helps. <laughs> the animated GIF is so good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Whoa, panda. Oh, my goodness. Damn. That's amazing. That's really good. No. That's such an interesting style. <laughs> That's awesome. 
Oh, Blockmaster. I love me some 8-bit art so much. <laughs> oh, that's really nice. Cave Dave. Great color palette. Look at that. Whoa. That's... Whoa. If, it's like translucent. If you that's full so cool. screen it, you can see there's a diver in the middle. Whoa. That's really cool. Yep. Ha! <laughs> Eggy64. That's cool. Whoa, that's dope. More Minecraft. Dig it. What the heck, dude? Ooh, Bogdy? Wow. That is amazing. Jeez. It's all about the, uh, the white, the highlighter pencil over top. For sure. Totally. Yeah, it, uh, in, in the tail, it adds... The feeling of like, I don't know, that translucent like material yeah. and like bone poking through. That's so good. And they use the paper as the mid-tone. That's amazing. Yeah, that's brilliant. Mm. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. These are tough creatures. Andre, good stuff. Wow, Andre's. Yeah. Z-brush, it looks, or no, that's Blender. That's yeah, great. that's thick. <laughs> Joshies. Oh, which one? Oh, yeah. It's like Josh. a skipping stone. <laughs> ah, I love the eight bit so much. <laughs> Prizler in the business suit. Going to work. <laughs> Mitch, Mitch, that's pretty good. Oh, that's dope. I'm so proud of you guys. So many, so many submissions for this. That's awesome. Honestly, y'all are killing it. Wow, really good stuff. <gasps> Nobody lemon. Aww. What happened? Where did I skip it? It's just really cute. Oh yeah, that's good. That's really good. Kendov, Kendov is really nice. Mm-hmm. Solid. I like the uh the the like creases. Yeah, that's really nice. Whoa. <laughs> There's some good ones. Henry K looks like a vacuum cleaner. Like those hand vacuum cleaners. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. <laughs> I love it. Ek, Ek of gold, good stuff. Whoa, Brom, G. Doing the uh, dang, uh, camera mapping or cam. What is it called? Yeah, doing that Ian Hubert. Yeah. Style. Projection. Projection mapping. mapping yeah. Sweet, Oscar, looking good. Lots of good drawings there. <laughs> This is great, dude. Oh my god, Brad, Brad. Awesome, boo. This freaking beefed out version. Brad, Brad. It's a green beefed out version. Whoa! Whoa, there's a video uh, by Woozy Face, and it's animated. It's pretty sweet. That's super sick. Damn, Oto, what the heck? What the heck? <laughs> Dude, freaking Oto needs to be in the stream, not me. That's amazing. It's really good. That's really good. Yeah, these are so good, guys. I love the Minecraft ones. I know, me too. <laughs> so good. Ha! So, look at this drawing by Freak Joker. It's all the things combined, like you said. Oh, shoot. Let me find that. That's crazy. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Yes. Oh, I love it. Blender BB. That's pretty good. Like dancing one. Mm. Cute. Country. Yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Rolling up, dude. Uh, That's funny. 
That's so funny. That's such a random text. What? I love it. It's so it funny. It makes it. I'm saving that. I... <laughs> oh, twisted verb. The face on that is pretty cursed. That's great. Oh, man. Whoa, Aldo. Yeah, yeah, that one's really good. That's really cool. I love how synced up we I are, love, too. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've been trying to follow along. Um, I love uh, when people, like, put their own style into it. It's really cool seeing mm -hmm. that. Agreed. Oh, Last Prince, that's cool. It's like the gelatin green on the tail. And then the one right below that. Sandoval. Sandoval. Oh. Pretty sweet. Yeah, that's dope. Hmm. Jack the Hack. Good stuff, man. You do good work. Pretty solid. Ha! Ah, Death Wings. It's it's stylized, man. It's not the worst. It's just stylized. And Ness GG, that was good, man. Yeah. I like that. The blender. Yeah, it's always really smart doing a lot with a little. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The blender crash, that's hilarious. Sweet. Yeah, it looks like some reposts. Um, scrubbing down. So what the many. heck, Scotty? I love the low poly game asset version. Whoa, Scotty's is great. It's the one with like depth of field with like the bluish background. That's insane. That's that insane. It's like it almost looks photo real. Oh. <laughs> I want to Oh, wow. Yeah, Scotty, that looks great. Yeah. What? Virtual. Oh, my goodness. That is ridiculous. Sculpted to perfection. Wow. That's so good. Jeez. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, sculpting is something I really want to get into. Yeah, it, it's the way to go for this. It's tough. Oh, Eugene. Yeah. Dude, scroll down until you're just like, oh, my God. <laughs> this perfect Z brush. Ah! That, oh, the texture. I know. Yeah, that's so good. That's amazing. <laughs> Oto, man. Wow, he textured it. That's good. Oh, wow. That looks amazing. Lighting. Solid. All right, switching back. Yeah. That was great, everybody. Yeah. These are super cool. Very impressive. Uh oh, my. Uh... My camera's frozen for some reason. Give me one second here. Um, <sighs> bam. All right, we should be good. Um, so we have one more 30 minute round to, to go. Um, thank you guys for sticking with us and making cool stuff. Um, doing this together with you guys is so cool. That's like the way to do it. Um, oh yeah. The, it's, it's super fun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Evolver, thank you for the super chat and everyone else who's been super chatting. I really appreciate you guys. The support really helps out. Um, and it helps me do this full time. You know, you guys know I'm doing this full time now, so it, it really, really helps out. Um, so thank you guys, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to get into our last round here. Peter, are you uh, feeling good? I'm feeling great, man. I'm having a great time. Mm -hmm. to do some more modeling. Let's, let's do it, son. I'm feeling good. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling really good. I wasn't too bummed about uh, okay. about that last one. My Eiffel Tower, pretty bummed, not going to lie, but uh, mm. yeah. yeah, modeling Modeling's is hard. difficult. Modeling is very difficult. Yeah. Um, so, all right, Sotomonte, thank you. Uh, he's the moderator behind the scenes. 
dropping these challenges on us. We're not seeing them until he drops them. So it's for the very first time. Let's switch over. Um, All right. Yeah, he's great. He's amazing. Um, Super helpful. Such a good mod. Um, Tapioca Senpai. Thank you. Um, Boba Teacher. (laughs) Boba Sensei. Thank you for the super chat. That's great. Um, Okay. Y'all, let me reset this timer. And we're going to do this. We got 30 minutes, final round, and then I'm going to get into reviewing the weekly challenge, and I'll announce the five winners, and uh, we'll announce the new challenge, which might be combining all five of these models (laughs) into... Heck yeah. I I don't want to uh, uh, commandeer your challenge if you already had something planned. I I don't have anything planned. We can... Here, how about we do it as an option? I'll do a poll, and then I'll I'll have that as one of the options. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Um, Sweet. All right. This is the final round, round six. Thanks for hanging out with us. Um, Let's do some cool stuff here. Um, Hell yeah. All right. So, Demonte, are you ready? Hit it. Oh, heck yeah. Old camera. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. All right. That's a medium format film camera or large format. Let's see. Uh, Medium format old film camera. Uh, Large format? I'll just type old film camera. Trying to find the right. Reference. That looks like a like thirty five. Is it is it a still though? It's a still camera. Yeah. Old large format film camera. Uh, yeah, old large format still camera. I'll pick something that's generally close. Yeah, here we go. Old. A vintage large format. I'm fine with this. Sweet. Okay. Let's knock this out. Anybody in the chat know uh, what the actual like name of this camera is? I just typed in vintage large format film camera and like there's a there's a lot of good ones. Yeah, I just uh, I want to find uh, like the same thing from like the top and the side. Oh, or some the schematics. Yeah. Let's do this with... We got the back piece. I'm going to block it out first. Then we'll go in for... Special Instantograph. Oh, hell yeah. It's called the Special Instantograph Patent Camera. Thank you. That's that's a mouthful. Okay, great. This is a cool cool piece of technology here. I'm... Okay, question for you, Clint. Is F spy allowed or are we modeling hands off? Um, you know what? I'm not going to use F spy. That's cheating. <laughs> Fair. Fair. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Here we go. 17 point. I'm just going off eye from this one here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. So one thing that helps me work faster is uh, to hold control and spawn primitives on current objects that I already have in my scene. By holding control, they, they spawn in that area already. So it helps me out a lot. Is there anything like that in Blender? Um, yeah, you just have like a 3D cursor that you can like shift, right click, and place anywhere. And then wherever that cursor is, cool. you'll like spawn an object pretty useful uh, it looks like it slides in and out 
Oh yeah, that's really cool. This is a a really interesting piece. Yeah, of it's fun to like figure out how something works based mm -hmm. off of like you know when you're modeling it. It's pretty pretty sweet. Yeah, totally. All right. One of the most helpful things I learned from modeling from my Blender peeps is inset. If you have a face and you press I. It'll create a face and scale it proportional to the face that you originally selected. Uh, and then you can like extrude outward or inward. Super useful. This is so much fun. This is like, this is what I really enjoy doing. Reuse this, drag it over here. Let's get along the axis. Technically, I guess this is as long as this is technically like a little panel here that will open up. Yeah, that, that's I'd buy that. Kind of cut out, it looks like. All right. Let's Bevels here. Here, three and one point five. Oh, shoot. Dang it. No, my undo isn't really? working. <laughs> you have to restart? Sure. All right, it's fine. No, no, no. I think just the like Q, undo Q got messed up, you know. Eat. I ain't got that section in. Probably could have done that a little better, but a bit more efficient. Yeah, 
MB is your bridge tool. I can throw a bevel deformer in here holding shift. It'll make an automatic child of whatever you have selected. Oh boy. Let's optimize it. Grab all those points. Control A, hit UO for optimize, and maybe that'll take care of it. No, what's going on? Wow. Oy. What am I doing? Oh, this is tough. So weird. Why is that a... doing that? Okay, I guess it's just one double point. Whatever. Peter, do you own any cameras like this? No, I freaking wish. Uh, you're into still, like, uh, film stills, um, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. I've always wanted it's to It's really cool to, like, see your art, you know, come out onto a physical, you know, printed thing and physical strips. I've never done yeah, anything that. like this, though. This is next level. I feel like this just kind of goes back in here, slides in there. Oops. Oh <laughs> uh, boy, it's okay. I'll throw that bevel modifier in there, hold shift. And it's already doing its thing. All right, let's get this lens down. So this is just Extrude inner and extrude. That's about it the whole way through. So grab these points, UL, and uh, do MW is extrude inner, and D is extrude. W extrude inner, extrude. Looks like go move these four. And this kind of inset, so I'll go in a little bit back, extrude inner a little bit more, and then out. So there's just like a little gap in there. And then based off my reference, I can't really see what's going on, but I'll just start making stuff up at this point. <laughs> yeah. I feel ya. <laughs> but I know it comes out. Out again. And I start seeing stuff again. Let's go extrude inner. A little bit. I'll save that. I'll save. Inner. All the way. Cool. 
Then we'll make some cuts. AL. Boom. Extrude. Same for here. I think there's like a little piece here. Little tiny piece right in there that gets. Okay. All right, more detail. Let's see. Um, the lens is looking fine if it had to end here. We got 15 minutes left, Peter. Oh, boy. All right. I guess I should start on this, like, uh, like the biggest thing I'm missing right now is that, like, scrunchy leather uh, light enclosure. Yeah, dude, it's such a weird shape. I really was having a hard time wrapping my head around it. So I ended up just doing accordion. That's basically what it is. Um, I think it starts right up here. It kind of works its way back. And this is what basically will trap the light. Film camera, so let's get that going. Work with it. Okay, maybe make some room for this thing. So grab these pieces up, extrude. It's here. Something like that. I'm gonna make some little knobs to throw around various yeah. parts. Accordion situation. Cuts down this thing. Um, okay, so every other one on the top and bottom it pushed up this, and every other one on the sides it's scrunched in About something like that feels about right Oh, nice. Oh, you figured it out. Yeah, they go opposite, I think. Yeah. No, I think you have it. You have gotcha, it. Gotcha, gotcha. 
No, nah, it's just uh, mine's like too even. I think they're all going the same way. Yeah, you got it. I am. And then they they kind of like scrunch towards the back a little bit. Hmm. Probably have a couple more pieces, but I think it's fine. But no, let's not do that. Let's just do a bevel. Fire on that. Go large with it, like three centimeters and pieces. The creases I feel like would be like a bump map or something. Totally. We got ten minutes. I guess you could sit. All right. All right. Let's make a knob. I'm I'm feeling Are you good. Feeling yeah, I'm feeling good. Um, what about you? Nice. Yeah, I'm definitely struggling more with this one, but I don't feel too bad about it. It's looking good. Thanks. All right, so I'm gonna make a couple knobs that I can duplicate. Um, let's. Yeah. Probably could have just done this from a disc, but whatever. Um, make it editable. We'll scrunch it down. Grab these middle points here. Control Shift Z will undo camera moves. Bring that down. And I'll be lazy with this, like a cylinder. Basically, that will be my knob. Very quick. Get this. Gizmo down towards the bottom. Hit an L. Bam. Sweet. Now I can duplicate this all around. Holding shift to snap to certain angles. Every five degrees. Like this comes right up in here and it's used to tighten it close this back piece i'm also going to take this cylinder and let's bevel these edges too so bam bam ms a little bit cool always bevel them edges oh yeah haven't been doing that we should Full drag Full drag Um, guys, over. Oop. Whole thing. We got six and a half minutes, roughly. Yeah. Oof. All right. Feeling it. Dang it. This piece needs work. Um, Uh, 
Okay, let's see. Let's get get this piece going. We'll need Um, let's just get that face right here, and I'll make some cuts in this. Um, bam. Down the middle, I'll delete these. Two, and subdivision surface. Kind of the wrong way to cut a hole out of this, but fine. Four minutes. All righty. Not too bad. Yeah, I'm feeling the same. Feeling pretty good. Give this the old control A. Some caps popping off. Three minutes. Sweet, sweet. Can I do this in three minutes? Um, And ba ba ba. Uh, what? How this? Come on. M N. We'll get rid of those. Hmm. Not too bad. What do we do with our minute left? <laughs> we slap on some quick materials or yeah, uh... do what you do what you got. Um and then I just need to cut some holes out of Oh my god. No. I just, it was almost what? the end. Oh shit. This works. Minute ten. I 
guess that works. I guess that works for now. Sure. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> oh no, I have to duplicate this. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Let's get, get over here. 180. <laughs> Two seconds last time. Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, wow, <laughs> Peter, that looks so good. <laughs> what the heck? Thanks, man. Oh, damn, dude. Yours looks Thanks, amazing. Man. Thank you. Damn, you are good what at heart surface. You, dude, yours is freaking perfect. What are you talking about? Like, zoom up in there. That's really good. Yeah, but yours is, like, way more accurate. Mine has got, like, a, a janky, like, game asset version. No, that's, <laughs> like, that's look perfect. At that. Got the... Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, the form of yours, though. Like, it looks so accurate. Thanks, like, schematic-wise. Um, I feel like I could have added a couple more rungs to my, like, accordion thing. Um uh and like maybe right. it's just the angle of it but like it feels a little long i'm not quite sure i could probably scale that back a tad but yeah it's hard to judge what the proportions should be it's such a strange shape and so i ended up like scaling it uh forward mm -hmm. and backward a lot yeah it's good to mess with it though you know yeah definitely damn now i want to like bring this into substance paint i know me too make it look nice this is awesome. Yeah. I'm definitely going to do that and put it on the Patreon if anybody is uh, interested in Heck having yeah, this asset. Shout outs. Ooh, shout outs. Shameless plug. <laughs> do it. Shameless. <laughs> okay, cool, man. Um, let's check out what everyone uh, else did. Nice. This was super yeah. fun, dude. Yeah, man. I think this totally worked. Yours looks Thank you. so good. Just now? <laughs> Andrew's in here? Wait, we got Blender Guru up in here? Oh, damn. What's up, Andrew? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. The father. My, my Blender father. Oh, my I goodness. I wouldn't be here without Andrew. I mean, we have to do a quick freaking donut. Here, this is. Here we go. Oh, damn. Five minutes. I think we do have to do a quick donut. Let All right, five minute timer. donut. Uh, let's do it. And then we'll take a look at everyone's cameras. Five minute, five minute. That right, sounds good. Okay, reset this. Um, let me know when you're ready, Peter. And we'll do I you know, I've always wondered how I would do the donut in C four D. Yeah. Okay, uh yeah, I'm ready. I'm okay, ready. all right, go. All right, I'm done. <laughs> Same. <laughs> nah, all right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Andrew, I never actually watched the donut oh, tutorial. Oh, dude, blast me. I need to. <laughs> I'm going to go watch it right now. Let's see, how the heck. How am I going to. This, uh, I guess, a, a tube? It's the, it's the, the icing that's going to be my challenge. Yeah, that's what I don't worried about. See, we'll do the low poly version, and then oh, smart. Do a little bit of top down situation. Solo this mug. Let's do like. I'm gonna, def I'm gonna have to deform it to the the tube or to the to the um uh to the torus is that what it is called yeah 
yeah. I just selected some faces on the Taurus and like duplicated them. And now I'm just like smoothing them out. Oh, that's probably a good way to go. Um, let's do. Boom. A little bit. And I'm just getting some random ones. Oh, no. Select. Touch. All right. Why a donut, Ren? <laughs> Why a donut? Because Blender Guru's up in here. Or he was. Was he? Is he still in here? Pretty freaking sweet. Um, yeah, I mean, that's what... Uh, Word from Soto. That's what I heard. Could be hearsay, We're doing but donuts. either way, I'm happy to uh, How's your do a donut. donut yeah, it's going good. It's it's a okay. little hairy donut right now. But I guess Ren's in the chat too. That's pretty sweet. We got everybody popping oh, up. What's up, Ren? All right, how do I deform this? <laughs> I know there's like something in C4D exactly for this. Um, like. Line is it wrap surface surface projection? What's the surface? The surface is the torus, and we want this to go onto that. And if we move this down, will it just work? Oh, of course not. Of course not. Initialize. <laughs> uh. Mapping. Oh, 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 oh. It, it's kind of, yeah, that kind of works. Oh my goodness. Like, I know this is what I need, but. <laughs> Get up on this donut, dude. Yeah. Oh my goodness, dude, what? Yeah, they meant. Ugh. Shrink, it's shrink wrap, it's shrink wrap. Thank you, thank go. you, everyone. We have 30 seconds! <sighs> ah, I forgot it was five what? minutes, I was used to the 30 minute one. Okay, shrink wrap, shrink wrap. No, you know what, screw it. I'm making, yeah, let's, I'm I, making, I'm making a capsule right now. Let's clone this. <laughs> oh, this is great. Real quick. 14 seconds, dude. Object. Uh what's the object? It's the No, it's the Okay. This is my janky donut. <laughs> I Oh, so bad. <laughs> So bad. Uh, Andrew! <laughs> wow. Okay, you know what? Shrink wrap, okay? Bonus time. Uh, we got wrap. Screw it. Shrink wrap. Boom. The target is... How do I do this? I've never done this before. Um... Shrink wrap the subdivision surface. Do I have to put it inside of it? Yes. Oh, wait, no. Never used this before. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> what on <laughs> earth, dude? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Boundary, edge. Uh. Huh. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Uh, yeah, here's my donut. Take a picture of this. This is just my donut right here. <laughs> Peter, you're so good, dude. That's great. That's freaking great. I love it, man. I'm out of breath. <laughs> oh, man, thanks. Maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know how this works. I've never used this thing before. Along normals, source axis, is that it? So bad. I think we need some more so uh, sprinkles on here. All right, here. look, my, okay, my uh, donut is just a little stale, the icing in particular. That's just how, it, <laughs> that's how it's going. That, I would take a bite it's of that donut. It's actually bacon. Pop. Bake, oh, uh. That's kind of like a voodoo donuts Definitely. type deal. Yeah, I, I'm just going to say it. I'm over voodoo donuts. <laughs> love to them. Much love. But uh, you know what it is? I, I just like the cake donuts. I don't like those fluffy ones. Like this, yeah. like this kind of donut is like, mm, I'm, I'm an old-fashioned so kind of guy. Good. I like the old-fashioned donuts. Those are great. Yeah. Um, great. Dude, we got, we got Render. Surrender up in here. Uh, Hell yeah. Are we yeah, going to do this definitely. with next time? Um, like with simulations or dynamics. We got to do like a dynamics challenge or something. That'd be crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, that would be I know. 10 hours <laughs> long. <laughs> Just like us with our, like, mm -hmm. our head in our hands the whole time. Mm -hmm. That was sick. Um, let's, take a, let's take a quick look at everyone's. That was fun. Uh, yeah, yeah. We got to um, check it out. Cameras. And then, um, yeah, we'll wrap you out, Peter. And then I'll do some art judging. Oh, yeah. Um, You're going to wrap me out? I'd, I would, I'm not as confident. I can't do that. I will not do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I couldn't do that either. One day. Um, okay, let's, get, let's, let's be real on this. Uh, that is good, but that looks like a downloaded model. But it was 30 minutes, so who knows? The, like, which, Chinese which or one? the Japanese characters. For the camera. It's like the first real submission. Yeah, it looks oh, wow. really good. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, yeah, that's incredible. The drawing is they... good. Wow. Very good, very good. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Great drawing. Oh wow, the first low bit one, uh the eight bit one is pretty sweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that looks awesome. Yeah. Love the voxelized. Classic. Sergio, I think, is like one of the first ones that like kind of got that shape down. Um, and then mm -hmm. Athul definitely has it too. Asuka, good to see all five or all six yeah. rounds into one. Yeah, that's awesome. Amazing. Dude, look at this cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. It's so jacked. The hands. Oh, that's awesome. Zachary, good stuff. Ooh, I love the minimalism of uh, Max the Cool Man. Yeah, it's like boxy. Looks kind of nice. Dig it. The cartoony mm -hmm. one is cool. Niz, Nizzy. Yeah. Larry, good stuff. What? Speed sculpting, soft model clay. Whoa. What the That's heck? That's crazy. That's amazing. I've never seen that. <laughs> I've seen like digital speed sculpting, but, but not yeah, that's cool. physical. That's incredible. X Ray did a good job. He looks like wow. he did a sim on that, like on the little scrunchy part. Oh yeah, it might be the uh, the blender cloth sculpting nice. uh, thing. Jarvis, that's pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> the cat takes the picture. I love that eight bit style. Such a fan. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. That looks awesome. You're really good, guys. Getting that shape down. Um, Marv Rice, good work. Very, very good work. Mm-hmm. Seriously. Yeah, very that's, nice. that looks impeccable. Wow. Good stuff, everybody. 
Yes, the game. Asset. Oh yeah, yeah, Anthony. It's like I from like Deus Ex One. Yeah, I'm actually modeling a bunch of that stuff right now for my game. That's awesome. It's in that style. Yeah, it's really fun. It's so easy. These are so cool. The painting. Mr. J, super yeah. solid. Yeah. Ooh, the painting. Yeah, wow. really nice. Ooh, Durgo. Really good. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Nice. Jack the Hack, very nice, man. Wow. Yeah. Dang. Good stuff. Yeah. Got all the gears in there and stuff. Matthew, solid work. <laughs> Finji boy. It's just that that's quite the <laughs> uh the little accordion piece. That's great. Bass. That thing's gonna I take know, some right? dank ass pictures. <laughs> uh bass, that's really good. I like that a lot. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, object objitude is solid. Mm -hmm. Very nice, man. Oh wow, uh Edspin has the yeah. little thing you throw over your head. That's amazing. It's so good. <laughs> That's cool. Belly, very good. Wonder King. Wow. That's See? nice. Heck yeah. Oh nice. Very, very nice. Ooh. H4 core. I love the isometric render. Agreed. Nice. I'm a fan of the isometric view. Mmm, mm. crystal picks. Good stuff. Piece of pizza. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> Gub Good wobbler. Material work. Uh, I love I love your art style <laughs> every time. Yeah, what's up? What's up, Tank Steel? Mitch Mitch? Wow. Dr. Pepsi. Where's Dr. Pepsi at? Oh, yeah. Good job on the lighting. So cool. Yeah, what a nice scene. Good stuff, everybody. Everyone's getting the shape down. MDK, mm -hmm. solid. Ooh. <laughs> Raw worth. That's good. Dang, the great Murloc. That's it's just good render quality, good lighting. You got the shape down. Lots of good ones here. Lots of solid ones mm -hmm. here. Um Iberk, I like your style. Yeah. Postel mm -hmm. Bunny. Pastel Bunny. That's really cool. Wow, Snake Shock, that's really good. Man, these are solid. Ooh, Mr. Tipples. Love that style. Red of Paw, very nice. Huh. Uh, did you see uh, ECA Golds yet? It's like the cartoon style drawing, very minimal. And it's a picture of all five pictures. Oh, I gotta see that. You see? Yeah, that's good. That's good stuff. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. I love that. Oh, I gotta save that. Super good. Bad Banshee, very nice. <laughs> the potato. Oh my god. <laughs> Great. Wow. Coal essence? <laughs> That's really good. And um, solid work, solid work. E two, very good model here. Wow, that's mm, that's great. Alan, really nice. Will to thrill, really good. And everyone's nailing this one. Yeah. Soro. Yeah, so many good ones. Says Soro. It's uh really solid. Seb Chen, really solid. Digging everyone's stuff here. Wow, Objitude, really good. AXL Explosion, really nice. 
I'm always impressed when people can like make something minimal without it feeling low effort, you know, even though like it probably takes low effort. So it's really yeah. smart way to do something. It's hard to have and it look clean. Really yeah, it's nice, got to look though. clean. Yeah, clean. So it's really having like a solid color background, like a psych, I think helps with that a lot. Mm. Totally, um, totally. Tarjay, this is really good. I like that a lot. Man, axle explosion! My God, so good. <laughs> Heck yeah! Ooh, somebody made a really good donut. You're solid. Cheese camera. <laughs> now it's a bunch of donuts. <laughs> Donut town. Wow, these are great. So sick. Good job, everybody. Hats off. Ah, <sighs> yeah, that's in the Donut Town. We get in the Donut Town. Good stuff, everyone. Thank you so much, <laughs> uh, Peter. I appreciate you, man. Uh, nice. That was freaking sick. Yeah, dude. Thanks for bringing me on. This was a super absolutely. fun time. Yeah, absolutely. It's great. Um, so you got a YouTube channel. What is it? Just Peter France? Yeah. Yeah, my YouTube channel is just Peter France. Go ahead and search that if you like Blender, tu Blender tutorials or other shenanigans. I'm actually going to start uh, posting devlogs for the VR game that I'm working on. So if that sounds interesting to you, definitely subscribe. I also have a Patreon if you'd like. Uh, I put some 3D scanned assets and uh, stuff I'm working on up there. Going to be uploading a new pack tomorrow, probably. So, uh, yeah. Great to hang out with you guys. I love the community. I love seeing all these renders. They're all so good. And, uh, yeah, you just Clint, you create a very fun space. Heck, yeah, man. It means a lot, kudos. especially on a Saturday um, when people are usually not working. So, thank you, <laughs> Peter, for hanging out with me. Let's do this again. Um, it'll keep getting better and better. And uh, Hell, yeah. Love yeah, to. Yeah, dude. Rock on. Um, have a good rest of your weekend, man. Yeah. Thanks, man. Love you too. Man. All right, Peace. love you. Later. Peace out. So, um, I'm gonna get into the art review for the weekly challenge. Um, every single week, we do a weekly challenge on the Create with Clint Discord server, and this last uh, challenge was falling. So I challenge you guys to make your best falling render, and uh, yeah, you guys are about to see the best five. So let me make sure nothing's queued up yet. I don't want to give anything away, and let's hop over into this art review yeah boy let's do it okay so we got five winners for y'all today uh the challenge was falling and it's gonna be a good time i i really appreciate y'all doing this with me by the way um i think it's freaking cool it's really fun i want to do this once a month it's totally a doable stream and it involves everyone in a real unique way so uh, shout out to all you guys for sticking with us. We had a solid like 2,400 people up in here for a while. Um, and the numbers the numbers were good. So thank you guys so much. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the support. And the whole point of this channel is just to keep learning and growing together in our passions every single week. And that's what we've been doing for about a year now. A little over a year um, we've been doing this. So thank you to all you guys who've stuck in with me um, and made it awesome. So Let's get into our weekly challenge winners. You guys are going to be getting the Discord uh, weekly challenge winner roll. You see on the server, we got 27,000 people up in the Discord server. It's growing in just a year, a little over a year. It's crazy. So first up, first winner for the falling challenge is uh, Jerome Stefan with this incredible animation of an astronaut falling through space passing a bunch of space debris beautifully rendered beautifully lit um your edge lighting your astronaut and all your space debris um very in a very smart way um this allows for you to pick out the shapes uh, of the astronaut of the rope of the debris pieces um and it really stands out against the black background i love this so much congratulations jerome you are the challenge winner this week you're getting that challenge winner role in the discord server so wear the badge with pride uh you deserve it man it loops 
your render loops. It's freaking awesome. Um, absolutely unbelievable. Perfect quality. Movie quality, I'd say. Okay. Uh, winner number two. We got four left, all right? Um, so number two, we have, bam, Hair Zettel with this one. I love this one so much. Uh, the color is incredible. You fill the frame with the character. You actually have the sense of speed and motion, and it's built into the actual geometry of the art here um, with the speed lines and everything. It's so cool. I love your colors so much, and the way you lit it from underneath really lets you just focus on the character itself. It's very stylized, very, very well done. So congratulations, Air Zettel, for winning this week's weekly challenge. You got the challenge winner roll. Wear it with pride. Hang on to it, all right? You know, because you might get it taken from you next week, but you got it for this week. Um, I love this. I love this so much. I like your the lens distortion you have, or not distortion, but like the lens grime you have, I think is a really nice touch. I think there might be a little bit of film grain in there too. It's looking really, really cool. Um, so moving on to the third winner for the weekly challenge this week for falling. The prompt was falling is, boom, Edward. Super solid, man. Um, I dig this so much. It's stylized. Uh, it's centered, symmetrical. I really dig it. I like your subtle colors here. I like the way you lit it from underneath. You get a real nice edge light on the character falling down. You can really pick out the character and the lights catching the glass pieces perfectly so you get a story of what's going on. Well, I think that's a briefcase. It's hard to see from this tiny view. I'm looking at this in OBS, but um, I love this so much. Telling a cool story with this man. Very, very nice. Very good stuff. Congratulations, Edward. You're getting the challenge winner roll this week as well. Now, if you guys want to participate in the weekly challenge as well, um, once I get through these, we're going to decide the challenge together. So probably do like a straw poll situation like we've done in the past, one of which will probably be combining all six renders uh, that we created here on the stream to use in, um, in your weekly challenge or two other things. We'll figure it out. It looks like Spider-Man, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like Spider-Man, but if you zoom in, I don't think it is. But who knows? What do I know? Uh, moving on, we got two more winners for this week's weekly challenge. Only two more left. Who's it going to be? Winner number four for the falling prompt is... Bam! Bobby Riggs. Really cool stuff. This is very unique. I think a couple people have been doing uh, these like comic book style covers. And I don't know if it was you, Bobby, last time. Um, it may have been. But... I love this vibe so much. It's really cool. It's very well done. It's designed perfectly. It's lit perfectly. Um, it's framed perfectly. The color is really nice. It draws the eye to the center point. It fills the frame. Um, yeah, it's just all around super solid. And it it answers the prompt. Yeah, in a really cool way. In a very unique way. I love it. I love it. Congratulations, Bobby. You're getting the challenge winner roll. This week, it's good to do this again. You know, it's it's been probably about a month since I've done the weekly challenges live like this, and it's definitely the way to go. All right, and last but not least, everybody, we got one more weekly challenge winner, and then I'm gonna get I'll get into some honorable mentions. All right, so last but not least, we have. Bam, Sid Conscious, I believe is the name. And this kind of started halfway through, but you know it loops. So let's just uh, go for the ride here. We got a character falling into bed. And this here is the beginning, bam. Super cool. I love the way it's lit, the volumetric uh, lighting, revealing different elements as you go further into the ocean, as you go deeper. Absolutely beautiful. That's so cool. We got the car. 
little jellyfish action. It's cool how it silhouettes the main character. Love that. The main character is still glowing too. Maybe here it would be a little nice to have the character glow a little bit or something or have a little bit more light. But that's so nice the way it silhouettes the character. And falls right back into bed. And that's what happens to Sid Conscious every single night. So freaking cool. Amazing. Congratulations to all the challenge winners this week, guys. Thank you so much for doing some cool stuff. So I don't have the honorable mentions queued up, but I can actually show them here on my screen for you. Give me one moment, because there are some really cool ones that I want to show you guys and talk about. Um, let's see. Okay, let's give these guys, let's hide these guys. In fact, we'll put these guys up and... Bam. All right, so one at a time. And it's going to be a little crazy here. But yeah, we got this one here by uh, Annie Ket. And I think this is the first time Annie Ket submitted. But I really like it. I like the style. Um, your lines are super solid, very symmetrical, and it's very easy to focus on the main subject here, which is an on-duty police officer jumping out the window. I wonder why. But there's a little bit of story going on, too. So I dig that, any cat. That's good stuff. Next up, um, we got, we got Eel King. Of course, uh, you know, dropping, dropping that phone right up in that toilet. It's not good. You know, it is not good. Luckily, this has never happened to me. Um, but Eel King, maybe it's happened to you. Apologies. It's a rough life. But it made me laugh. So, shoutouts, man. Good stuff. Uh, e. Pete. Really cool one here. Yeah, I like your style here. It's very minimal. You got the fog. You know, you got the light from the top. Matrix style the hands at the bottom really cool render i dig the style congrats man keep up the good work next up utkarsh kumar with the indiana jones themed submission here i dig it it looks like a photoshop situation i can't tell if it's concept art or what but it's really good it's super good um, I like your lighting. Feels like I'm there. You got the motion blur in the right spot too. So I'd say that's pretty perfect. Udkarsh, congrats, man. Shoutouts. Good stuff. I know is next with this super cool one. Um, this one's really cool. Yeah, I dig this one a lot. Let's go, OBS. Come on. You got a character falling out the airplane. Don't worry, he's got a parachute. It's all good, but I like your colors. I like your style. Render quality is very nice. Your lighting is very good. Um, this one came close. This one came pretty darn close. So congrats. Uh, D God is next. With this one here, super cool. Definitely like album art uh, material. It looks really good. Got the hands coming down at the bottom. Catch this person. And you're silhouetting, or I'm sorry, you're vignetting the character naturally with the dark clouds, which is a solid move. I like your colors. Good stuff. Nausicaa. Next. This one I love. It's very video gamey. I like your composition a lot. I like what you're doing. Again, focusing the attention to the character's one, by silhouetting them, so they're contrasted from the background. Background's lighter, they're darker. You also have the cliff side on either side of the frame. Um, really training your eye to that center piece there. Um, and it looks like it's a render from Nausicaa in the Valley of the Wind, which is, I think, Hayao Miyazaki's first or second movie. Um, solid stuff. Really good. I love it. Noobs 3 is next. 
with this beautiful piece of art. Rendered very nicely. Got some Mega Scans assets in there. You, you probably didn't need the tree. You know, because my eye is already guided towards the Millennium Falcon in the background. You could probably crop, crop this out a little bit. Just frame in just a little bit. But it's really nice. I like your colors a lot. And your render quality and lighting is very good. So, congrats. One Dead Duck is next. Always putting out good stuff. This one's super cool. Just a solid piece of art here. Beautiful clouds. Very, very beautiful. Super solid scene. This one came very close as well. Sick. Sick. We're about halfway through. We've got some more honorable mentions to shout out. This one's super cool. Very creepy. I would not want to be on that boat or anywhere in this scene, um, which is a good thing because he made me feel pretty sketched out. I love it. <laughs> I love it. You got some rain. You got some film grain. It's looking really good. So congrats. Peach kill. It's a good one. Soulmate is next. This one's awesome. I made a comic strip. Super funny. I love the different take on it. I love your art style. Um, it felt very fresh and it made me laugh. So I say that's a good thing. Congrats, man. Good stuff, Soul Nate. Zephyr is next. This one's pretty sweet. This one came close. Um, fallen through the top uh, window of an apartment building. Not chill. Not good at all. Uh, but I wanted to give a shout out to Zephyr because this is a solid render. Very, very good stuff. I love your color. I love how you're silhouetting the main character to bring attention to him. You got a little bit of fog in the background to silhouette them a little bit. Um, I'm sorry, silhouette. I meant edge light. You're hitting with the edge light from up top. Very nice. Very good stuff. Anto Abhishek is next. I thought this was uh this wasn't bad. Here, let me loop it real quick. Where'd it go? Here we go. I thought it was when I was watching it on Discord, it looked photo real for a second. This is uh Mr. Ant, I think. And this dude has come so far. So, so far in such a small time period. So I just wanted to shout out this artist, Anto Abhishek, Mr. Ant, uh, and say congrats for keeping up with everything, for sticking with it, and for, uh, yeah, for continually coming back and learning, man. That's the whole point of all this stuff. So good job. Good work. Uh, Karimi. Apologies, I'm going to mute these. I just don't know exactly. Whoa. Yeah, this one's really good. Let's loop that one more time. Classic Mixamo character on the one wheel. Really nice animation there with the pizzas. That's good stuff. Very good stuff. I love this one a lot. This one came close as well. Uh, let's see, Ness is next. Apologies for the sound, y'all. Go ahead and loop this real quick. This one's super cool. Really intense. This one came close as well. But I love the style, I love the colors, I love the camera. It's not too jarring. I just wish it looped. That's the only thing, I just wish it looped. But, Ness. This is really good. Very impressive. Your animation's solid. Your camera anim animation is really good. You should be proud. Um, and two more. We got time for two more. This one is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Quite the take on the prompt. 
these like soft body gummy characters is so cool amazing simulations so sick very very good stuff soft body dance no name on that one just name soft body dance and then the last one is the game factory goodness apologies y'all sorry for the ears but I love this one you know you got the dance going popping off and you're like well where's the fall I don't know how this pertains to the prompt and there you go <laughs> and that's it that's it y'all ah, thank you thank you for joining me let's figure out this next weekly challenge real quick before we dip out um so I'm going to make a straw poll link that I will drop into, that I'll pin to these, uh, to the live feed real quick. So I need two prompts from y'all. Um, we'll use Peter's suggestion using all of the models to create a scene. Uh, so what would I call that? Use speed models to create a uniform unified scene or use speed models to create a story yeah so that'll be one and I'm looking for suggestions here on the weekly challenge what do you guys want to do throw it down for me nature so we've done nature and sci-fi already Sleep? Have we done sleep? Sword? Sleep and sword aren't bad. Um I'll I'll take it down to a couple here and we'll 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 vote on these. Sleep, I'm I'm actually down for. I think that could be a cool one. Sword could be fun. People like sleep. Okay, cool. Mmm, skate. Very nice. Factory. Oh man, factory could be intense. That's a lot of work. Okay, you've done oh you've done dream. Okay, we've done dream, so maybe sleep is a little close, but I feel like dream is I don't know, maybe we can still get dream. Weather? Weather could be interesting. Storm? I think we've already done Storm. It's hard to remember at this point. We've done so many. Music. Have we done music? Um, mods, I'm looking to you guys to see which ones we've done. Light? Time? I think we've done time. Have we done time? Jazz. Interesting. Underground. Ah, interesting. Hair. Deep. Deep could be cool. Okay, alright, we've done time. Uh Deep could be interesting. Hmm. We didn't do music. Maybe music. Music? Or deep. Since we've already done dream, we could do, instead of sleep, maybe we could do music. So what do you guys think about music and deep? And then use the speed models to create a story. I'll do one last look over here. We've done caves. Um, we've done steampunk already, I think. Factory would be a lot. Gravity could be sweet, actually. Music. All right, I'm calling it. I'm calling it right here. We have used the speed models to create a story. We have music and we have deep. So let me create this poll and I'm going to pin it really quick.
All right, so everyone chill out here posting because I'm going to need to pin a comment. Actually, no, I can still do it. Bam. All right, so go to the pinned message. It's the straw poll link. And vote on what you guys want to do for the weekly challenge this week between using the speed models we created on this stream to create a story, music, or deep. And those are your three choices. And I'll give it two minutes here. And we'll see what we're going to do. All right, the votes are coming in. We got 89 votes, 100 and something votes, 120 votes coming in. It looks like it looks like the winner is pretty clear here. I'll give it another minute. The link is pinned to the live chat right now. Vote on the weekly challenge. That was a fun stream, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sotomonte, for uh, for moderating and doing all the the images and the challenges for Peter and I. It was amazing. Very, very helpful. Thank you for being here the whole time. To the other moderators, I saw Roan and I saw Visual up in here. Thank you guys for your time. Always appreciated. All right, guys, <clears throat> it's looking like the winner's pretty darn clear. With 51, 52% of the votes uh, out of 225 votes, it's looking like Deep is going to be the weekly challenge this week. All right, so you guys have one week to make a render based off of the prompt Deep. Uh, and since next week is going to be an edited video, I'm going to be announcing the new community challenge. It's going to be a month long community challenge, very similar to the alternate realities challenge in the sense that it's a month long. I'm going to combine them all into a montage. Uh, we're going to judge them. We're going to give out some prizes. Um, it's going to be freaking awesome again. And yes, it's right after alternate realities. So this one's going to be very unique. It's going to be very different. Um, and I'm very excited to see what you guys can do. I just can't wait to tell you about it. One more week, you guys will find out, and it's going to be sick. Um, I'll answer any questions you guys have over the next five minutes, and then I'm going to get some lunch. So just hit me here at Ponisher in the chat, and I'll see what I can do. Saravin, thank you for your time. Thanks for hanging out. Good stuff, man. That was a fun one. Yeah, I want to do this this format once a month. I think it could be really cool. We could do a bunch of different stuff with it. Ah. What was the favorite model I did today? Well, I kind of surprised myself with that sea creature, but I'd probably have to say the camera was probably my favorite. It's the one I felt I did the best on. Uh, the worst one for me, probably Eiffel Tower. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> VFX King, can you start the weekly challenge now? Yes, you can. Cody, how long have I been doing VFX? Man, since I was... Oh, in ninth grade? 2004, probably? Yeah... Eighth grade, 2004. I started by adding muzzle flashes to individual frames in like a program called Macromedia Fireworks. And I would save that out, bring it into Windows Movie Maker, and attach it to like my little airsoft guns. Those were the first VFX I did. When is the next Unreal Engine stream? Maybe Unreal Engine 5. Uh, that is a good question. I have a lot of stuff planned for the future. Here, especially with this new community challenge coming out, but I do have a Unreal Engine 5 breakdown coming out probably next month. Um, I'm going to create a scene that I have in my head and have it look as photo real as possible and show you guys all the steps that I went through to creating that art. Very similar to the art breakdown I did last week, but it'll be an Unreal Engine. <laughs> 
Big Chungus, what's up, dude? Yo, uh, mostly Colin. When were you able to quit your day job or did you go to college and straight into the industry? Okay, so when I was in Georgia, I was working at a, uh, a hibachi restaurant. Of course, I was working at a hibachi restaurant. I was a server. Um, I worked there for about a year. And I was going to college, to a technical college at the time. And I was also doing VFX freelance. And I was able to, I mean, I basically dropped out of college, left that job, and drove out to L.A. to move in with Freddie. And he charged me super cheap rent, like super cheap rent. And I was just able to create, I think I was working on Cardboard Warfare 2 at the time when I was with Freddie. And I would help him on VFX with his shorts. So I would, you know, he would pay me for that as well. Um, and then, yeah, it just kind of, it took off from there. You know, I worked at Rocket Jump for probably three years. Took a year off doing freelance. And then I did Corridor for three years. And it's been like three or four months on my own now. And it is, it's been insane how fast this channel has grown how much the community has grown. Um, you guys have been coming back consistently. I really obviously couldn't do it without y'all. And I have some seriously large plans for this channel in the future. You, you'll know about it this month. I'm working hard. I just got so much on my plate. Um, and I'm trying to do a lot. I'm trying to do a lot. So um, I mentioned a Patreon coming out. That's going to help me bring on a couple more people. And keep making content that you guys are enjoying that's high quality. So it's not just me. I can only do so much on my own. So the Patreon is going to help with that. It's also going to give you guys some really cool incentive um, to want to sign up. You know, some exclusive stuff. So it'll be really cool. Um, I've got a ton of videos planned for later this year. Um, like I said, the next weekly or the next community challenge, which is a month long challenge with the montages at the end, that's going to be announced next week. So. Lots of big stuff coming out. Adam, how do you get inspiration to make anything? Good question. Um, well, I think I, I enjoy creating stuff naturally. I enjoy being creative. So that, that helps. Um, I think it comes from these challenges, from doing things, from seeing things out in the wild and wanting to just challenge myself to try something. Um, also... You know, the images I see in my head, I want to tell certain stories. I want to get like certain vibes. I love traveling. Going on trips inspires me a lot. Putting on music that fits the kind of vibe of the location I'm at helps a lot. Music actually helps me come up with ideas a whole lot. I'll, I'll be able to see something in my head when I'm listening to ambient music or any song really. But usually ambient music helps me. Um, it immediately puts me in a place, puts a picture in my mind. And from there, you know, start coming up with stories and just writing down your ideas and being aware of all the ideas that come in and out of your head, right? Writing stuff down is very helpful. So, yeah. I'll answer a couple more questions and then I'm going to bounce. I'm going to get some lunch here. Do I plan on making merch? Um, I don't know. We'll see. Making merch... We'll have to see about that. Right now, the only thing I offer, physical things that I offer, are prints. So my print store is in the description of this video. It's noisegrainandlight.com. I have some limited edition prints. I have some renders, but mostly film photography. I'll be posting some more renders to uh, Noise, Grain, and Light pretty soon. Um, but yeah, in terms of t-shirts, like maybe, I don't know. It depends on if everybody wants t-shirts, but I'm not I'm not trying to print a bunch of t-shirts, you know? Maybe some stickers. I think some stickers could be cool. Um, And Big J, what are your thoughts on Workbench in Blender? Do you think it's bad? Or do you think it's perfectly good rendering format for tech machines? I don't know what Workbench is because I don't use Blender. So I apologize, my man. What else do we got? I don't speak German, no. Okay, hey, Alan, that's a good question. 
how do you know which ideas are good enough and realistic to pursue? That's a great question. So I think once you have a list of like ideas that you want to create, you want to pursue, I think you need to ask yourself like, for me, I want to direct movies. So pursuing a film is on my plate. It's being written right now, um, working with a writer on that. But how do we decide what movie we want to make? And uh, Nate, that's his, that's his name, the writer, Nate Davis, he was like, yo, um, we need to come up with a bunch of ideas and we'll pick the one that, that reaches, that calls out to us, that's like, oh, that's a great idea. Let's do it. You know, I think you'll know. It's like, eh, eh, eh. But when you hear something that you really like, it's kind of like a light bulb going off. But really what he said was, um, we need to create something that we're okay living with for the next two years. Because it'll probably take two years to make the movie in terms of writing it, filming it, and doing post-production on it. You need to be still passionate about what you're doing after working on it for two years. Imagine working on a render for two years. Like, you better love that render. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to get bored of it. So that was a big thing for us, is making sure that we weren't going to get tired of the characters, the story, the vibe, for you know, within that two-year time window. In terms of, like, smaller projects, like the last one I did for the Alternate Realities Challenge, the post-apocalyptic vibe, how did I know that was an idea worth pursuing? Um, you know, for me, I love, you guys know, I love foggy atmospheric stuff and I love abandoned buildings. So I've always wanted to do a render kind of based around an abandoned building or an abandoned landscape. So that was my time to do that. That just came from me wanting to be inspired um, you have to ask yourself too, what are you going to learn throughout the process? Are you doing this? Like, what are you going to, are you going to gain anything from this? Uh, for me, it was a piece of content. I was able to make a breakdown for the alternate realities, uh, piece of art that I did. Um, I'm also into NFTs as well. So I'll be able to make an NFT from that. So it's not just the process, the learning process. It is being able to share it and make cool stuff for the world as well. Right, so it's kind of a, a bonus on top of that. Um, if you think it'll be good for your reel, good for your resume, that's another thing too. Um, but that's a very good question. How do you know an idea is worth pursuing? Another one too is, is it unique? Uh, is it a story that needs to be told? Is it an image that people don't usually see every day and you know gets people to... I do a double take like, whoa, that's pretty sweet. When, you know, at Rocket Jump or at Corridor, coming up with a viral video, it's difficult to come up with a viral video, but it's interesting with both the Floor is Lava uh, video I did at Rocket Jump and the Boss Town Dynamics video I did at Corridor, for both of those, I knew just the idea alone, it would at least get a million views because it's unique hadn't really been done before in that certain way. And I knew I would execute it. Uh, I, w I knew that I would execute on the idea to the best of my ability and it would be good. So if you have that idea in your head that's unique, the world hasn't kind of you know, really seen yet and feels very personal to you and you're passionate about it, then that, that's, that's a solid idea. And that was a very long answer. But with that, y'all, I'm a bounce. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for modeling stuff with me. That was really fun. We got to do this again. And uh, yeah, thanks for your guys' support. Thanks for the super chats and everything. Uh, stay tuned next week. All right. Big announcement. The next community challenge is popping off. All right. So we're going to create some really cool stuff together. Once again, we're going to pack it together in a really, really sweet montage. I'll give you a clue as to what it is. The aspect ratio is flipped. So it's a uh, vertical video kind of montage. Maybe that give you guys some ideas. But thank you so much. Catch you guys next week. And uh, have a good week. Good luck on the weekly challenge. Peace out, y'all.
Have a good one. Ooh, I um, once again almost ended it without going to the end screen. See you guys soon. Bye.